see what's going on. Ah. Oh. Huh. Your event is starting. Hello, 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 <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Can you see us out there? Can you see Take us? Take two. <laughs> Take two. Can you see us out there? We need to know in the chat room if we are live. Um, we need to know. But we've been talking to you guys for the last. Like, we've been talking minutes. yeah for about fifteen minutes now, five <laughs> minutes, and we're hopefully we're live now. Can you see us? There Yay! we are here. Welcome, welcome, welcome to May Leaf Sessions Live, number four, numero cuatro. We are here in our house in London and we are coming at you live on YouTube to just get all tea heads from all around the world, hundreds of you to gather together, get your tea game on, talk nonsense, drink tea, hopefully get a bit tea drunk. Oh, yeah. So if it's a Saturday, where are you? If it's Saturday where you are, it's a Saturday night or it's a Saturday morning, happy Saturday. If you are up really early, I know some people have been up early, like there's some, yeah. somebody's up at 4 a.m. Kudos to you, you get extra, extra points. That's so if you're up on Sunday, really then happy Sunday to you, wherever you are, whatever time it is, let us know in the chat room where you are and what you are drinking, and we will give you some shout outs. So we've got Teahead88 from Germany. Look, we've got a little chat room feature here. I'll just throw this along so you can see the chat. Hopefully spinning by. Working this so time. we've got uh, Adam, Ido, Catherine, Florencia, Skeleton Finger, Simon, <laughs> Scott Phillips, Trilemma85, Johan Alston, Guy One Geek. Yes. We will definitely have some Bambula moment, Bambula moments today. In fact, I think we need to prescribe some Bambula moments we because do. it's been quite a heavy week for us. So we need to have sure. some prescription Bambula moments coming through. Mm -hmm. Beehive, Skovson, TKO, Femke, we said that already, Yansa. <laughs> wow, everybody, hi, yeah. hi, hi, hello to all of you. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do shots. Tea shots, obviously. <sighs> so, Celine, do yeah. the honors. So, we're quite, I've been quite tired today, I think Don as well. So we needed a bit of this kind of matcha shot hit, but, we decided to mix it up for a Saturday night. Yeah, you know, give it a good swirl. So this is a matcha dita. Uh, we'll give you, uh, Celine will tell you the recipe for it, but nice, essentially yeah. it's like a spiced matcha drink, cold. We like to do shots of this drink. It just gives us a nice little boost. Yeah, um, so and, yummy. And uh, it will set us off, hopefully hmm. on the right track for this May Leaf Sessions number four. Yeah. Denise, hello from Spain. Jive Elephant from Canada. Christoph from Belgium. You know guys, uh, 1916 Kassan from Poland. I think we're covering most continents now. Yes. Keith near Seattle. Yes. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, it's all working, good. <laughs> Let us know in the chat room if there's any issues, any technical issues with sound, with focus. You know how I like to fiddle with my phone in terms of focus. Sometimes yeah. I've got to put that away. So let me know if there's any problems and well, let's do a shot. So cheers everybody. Cheers, let's guys. start the session with a shot. This is a matcha dita. We'll talk to you about it in a second. <laughs> Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Happy to whatever you're drinking. Cheers. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, spicy, spicy. Mm. So, a matcha dita is basically a kind of riff on the verdita. Mm. The verdita is like a, I think it's a Mexican uh, cocktail or a shot chaser that you do after having some high quality tequila. None of that None nasty of that window cleaner stuff. stuff. <laughs> high quality, nice, 100% agave tequila, or you could do mezcal. And then afterwards, the verdita, which basically is... So there's... Um about two handfuls of mint in there, about a handful of coriander, uh, green chili, a big green chili. You've got to have the chili. The chili yeah. is necessary. Is it that little hit? If you're not much of a chili fan, just put a bit less, but that warmth is really nice. About two, okay, I put about two tab three tablespoons of matcha, but you can put a bit less. <laughs> it's fine. No, put, put, put a good amount. <laughs> no, because you know, we've, look how much we've got here. We've got enough for quite a few people. We're not this really is like a 500 mil type, you know, amount. Um, and then, 
Oh, pineapple juice. So we've got coriander, mint, chili, pineapple juice, lime juice. Ah, yes, lime juice. And the matcha. Uh, matcha. Yeah. And you whiz all that up, yeah. and then you uh, strain it so you don't have too much of the pulp, the pulpy. Yeah, I definitely strain just so all the coriander stalk and stuff are out of there, or like mushy stuff are out of there. Mushy and stuff. The mushy stuff. The mushy stuff. <laughs> and um, um, oh yeah, if you do the matcha though. Make sure you whisk it beforehand in some cold water, like 200, uh, 100ml of cold water and add it in there, boom, it's done. So this That's is it. the drink that we served, one of the drinks that we served <laughs> at our wedding. Yeah. Um, basically kind of come, I don't know, around 11pm or something, yeah. the matcha ditas came out and people yeah. were doing shots if they wanted with alcohol, if they didn't, so they could use it as a chaser or not. Yeah. But a lot of people were just doing shots and they actually, a lot of people were saying to us that they thought that there was alcohol in it. They were coming, <laughs> they were coming up to me the next day, oh, I was so drunk on those green shots you were giving me. I said, that didn't have any alcohol. <laughs> 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 that was just matcha. But you know, it was, uh, it was, uh, it definitely kept them up. It meant yeah. that the party stayed for a long time. So I like loose leaf. Thank you very, very much. We will definitely post a recipe um, on probably on the um, either on the website or we mm. might do it just in the description of yeah. this YouTube uh, video afterwards. If you are watching on record, so you're not joining us live, then welcome to you too. I hope that you enjoy mm. this session. But next time, try and join in. The chat room is going off. As you can see, I'll give you a quick little uh, uh, demonstration. Can you mix matcha and vodka? You can mix matcha with vodka. Yes, that's possible. Um, you can definitely do that. True. We've tried lots of different things, but I actually really like it in this way. Pure, mm. like a really nice pure green, um, uh, non-alcoholic. Yeah. And then you can mix it, you can have it as a chaser with any of your favorite liquors. It works very well with rum. It works very well um, with uh, tequila. Good Sorry, tequila. I'm, I'm having another shot. Yeah, let's do another shot. I just need let's it. Let's do another shot. Just for fit, Rachel, yes, live is best. <laughs> then you can really soak up the atmosphere. So if any of you are wondering what all the commotion is outside, there's lots of banging and noises. It's nearly Guy Fawkes night. In two mm. days time, it's Guy Fawkes night which is the kind of celebratory uh, got, um, fireworks, one of the celebratory fireworks nights in London to commemorate um, the foiled attempt at blowing up the British Parliament mm. many, many, many years ago. So Guy Fawkes was a historical character that um, wanted to uh, blow up the English Parliament and he was foiled, it was stopped. And so every year we celebrate either the stopping of the parliament being blown up, or we celebrate rebellion, which I prefer. There you yeah. go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, guys. Another shot of Machadita, and then we will be on our way. Chili is important. You need that spice. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. Green chili. It doesn't have to be like super blow your head off hot, but it is nice if it is an, um, a, good, it. a good spice, a good burn. That's, it feels kind of detoxing as well. Like it's great because with the matcha you get a bit tea drunk, and then you've got the coriander that detoxes your blood. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. You know. It's a detox <laughs> and uh, and picker upper. Yeah. Perfect. It's a little pick me up. Perfect. <laughs> What's it in Italian? <laughs> tiramisu means pick me up. You know. Does it? I think so. Ch uh, chat room, let me know. I think tiramisu means pick me up. So whenever cool. you want, whenever you want, picking up a little, a little green tiramisu. Okay, Trip Pollard, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so much. We do oh, love nice. malt geezer. That is for sure. I miss it. Remember, remember the 5th of November indeed. Okay, so without further ado, we were a bit late, but mm. you know, we had a little bit of an issue with, we're trying out a new software here, so bear with us. Um, we are going to move on to our first tea. So let me put this down here. Ah. And you'll be surprised to see that we don't have a Gong Fu Guru in front of us yet. That is coming. <laughs> yeah, um, there's a reason. For and that. this little fella here is not going to be drunk until the more towards the end of the session. So sorry guys if you're already on the Psychic Stream Seekers, but enjoy it and we will be with you relatively Very soon. Relatively soon. Um, more than 300 tea heads? Oh wow, oh, that's yeah. good. Let me just quickly check. Yeah, 308. We are nice. definitely rocking, Great. guys. 
congratulations to each and every one of you. Honestly, you guys are what's making this happen. Yeah. You guys are, you know, uh, part of something special and hopefully it will continue to grow. And I heard that, okay, good, I'm right about tiramisu, good. Um, <laughs> yes. And I heard that some people are actually wa watching in groups. Somebody said that I'm going to be watching with seven other people. Oh, cool. So it counts as one, but actually it's seven. Yeah. There you go. All right, so. Amazing. Guys, let's start with our first tea. Yeah. Um, so, this is what we are drinking. This has just come in. It's a kind of special commemorative tea, and I'm going to talk to you about it. This is Temple Blossom. Can you hold yeah. it up to the camera and I will do the focus thing? Okay, hold it a bit higher. A bit higher because I've got this annoying thing in front of mm, my face. Okay, here? there you go. So this is Temple Blossom. Temple Blossom, I will give you, um, I will give you the scope of this. So the scope of this is, this is from, uh, this is season, spring pick, 7th of April, 2017. This is from Jing, this is from the Jingshan cultivar and it's also known as Jingshan Green. Okay, you can sit back down. <laughs> Thanks. Um, this Yay. is from the Lanhua plant, plantation in Zhejiang province. So Zhejiang province, very famous for uh, Dragon Well, green tea, Longjing, also famous for Kaihua, Longjing. Lots of green teas come from Zhejiang and it's a very fascinating area in, uh, because you get a lot of variation even within one province. So this yeah. is from Lanhua, which is near the Jingshan Temple in Zhejiang province. The picking is very fine. You can see it's very fine, twisted Maojian leaves. It's um, bud and one or bud and two leaves. Very, very fine picking. The elevation is 500 meters. So that's your scope. And the reason why we're drinking this today is really because of the monks that came to visit us last weekend. So probably some of you know about this already. We did some live on Instagram. If you're not following us on Instagram, you need to do that because a lot of the, we do a lot of live videos. Uh, we're starting to do a lot of live videos on Instagram. And we gave you some sneak peeks on these monks who came in to make a mandala. Um, and it was a beautiful, beautiful so event. Amazing. Three days that they spent to make the mandala before they destroyed it and they um, gave us some sand, which we'll talk about in a little bit. And uh, the rest was given out to people who attended the um, ceremony and then it was brought and it was um, ceremoniously uh, placed in the canal with lots of uh, uh, flower petals and it was a beautiful, beautiful event. I can show you the mandala if you guys want to see the mandala. Let's see if this works, shall we? Let's try it. Let's see if this works. Let's see if you guys can see this. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Here we, we go. go. So, can you guys see that? Let me know if this software is working. Um, so you can take a look at this mandala. It's a beautiful, beautiful mandala. And one of the monks is staring up um, at the camera. Um, thank you, Anime Portal, for your um, super chat and uh, drinking purple bud. Nice. Um, so. Can you see the mandala, guys? Let me know in the chat room. But um, it, is, uh, it was a beautiful, beautiful mandala. Um, and um, this is uh, great. You can see it. Good. Okay. <laughs> so basically, the story behind this was the monks came to visit us. Um, I'm going to leave the mandala up for a little bit so they can stare at it. Um, and they uh, really, really um, enjoyed the environment of the Mayleaf Tea House and the clinic, uh, the Acumedic Clinic, which I'm also a director of. Not many people uh, know that out there. Um, and they kindly offered to make a mandala, which would take three days, and they decided to make a medicine mandala. So this mandala is all about um, really trying to um, uh, spread good intentions, good healing intentions within the space, within the Mayleaf Tea House and within the clinic. Um, and basically, um, you know, try to kind of give good energy to our space. I'm gonna switch back to us now. He is a handsome monk, I agree. He's a very handsome monk <laughs> and he's a young monk, but they start their um, studies very, very early. Most of the monks that came to us, they mm. started when they were about seven or eight years old. Really? And this is really the kind of backstory of it. These monks um, are practicing in 
uh, south, southern India, their Tibetan, um, um, in terms of their heritage, in terms of the, the study, um, in terms of the type of Buddhism, it's Tibetan Buddhism, but they are in southern India and they're trying to, it's one of the biggest monasteries, um, mon monastic schools, but they're trying to um, raise funds mm. in order to uh, build a new hostel because they have so many hundreds, if not coming up to a thousand, they were telling me, mm. of children, orphans, uh, poor kids who have been sent there or have just kind of gravitated towards there to become Buddhist monks and they have nowhere to house these people. So they are trying to raise money um, and so obviously when they came to the event they started to, uh, they were trying to sell some of their uh, scarves and sell some of their wares. Yeah, you can see some of the stuff. <laughs> we, we picked up some of the... Um, beautiful stuff. Really. We picked up some of the stuff. By the way, you guys, we're going to be doing some questions and answers. Um, we're going to split it up and we'll, we'll tell you when we're doing some questions and answers. So you don't have to write in all the questions hoping to catch us. We will tell you when we're doing some questions and answers. So yes, they came. They were trying to raise money. Really, it's kind of... Um, it's a beautiful thing, but at the same time... It's kind of frustrating from my point of view because they need to raise $25,000, mm. um, which is not, in the big scheme of things, is not a humongous amount of money. It's not a huge amount of money, $25,000, but they're trying to raise that. If they can raise that, then they can build this hostel in South, Southern India. But mm. trying, to, trying to raise that through scarves and, and, and bells is yeah. not going to be very... Um, it's going to be a slow process. So we're trying. We're trying to get them to... Um, uh, create an online uh, fundraising page. Mm. Um, I've been trying to get them to do that. Hopefully it will happen very soon and then we will post it on um, our various platforms and maybe you guys can donate something if you feel like you want yeah. to. Okay, so coming back to the tea. I know you probably think it's a long-winded story. So what we decided to do was we wanted to uh, get a tea that really commemorated this event and this tea has got a really, really amazing history. So the Jingshan green tea from Zhejiang province comes from the Tang dynasty. So really, really, sorry, what? What, what does it say there? What? Oh, waiting for Mehdi, is that, is that a problem with the... Is there a problem? Please let me know if there's any problem out there. Somebody's saying that they can't see us. Please let me know. I'm gonna check our, no, we're still, we still, still yeah. seem to be live. So, um, so yes, um, the uh, Jingshan Green, Tang Dynasty, the Tang Dynasty, uh, around 700 AD, a master monk called Fa Qin, he, uh, he planted some uh, tea plants. This is the legend, but I think it is based on pretty much truth. Um, he planted these, uh, 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 these indigenous uh, cultivar tea plants around the monastery, picked the leaves to offer to Buddha, and was so impressed by the flavor, the aroma of the tea, that it became something that was served mm. at the monastery. Mm. So it was served at the Jingshan Buddhist monastery. It was served to guests who came to speak about monastic practices, to speak about Buddhism, but it was also served um, to, uh, but it was also consumed by the monks. Right. Um, and so this was one of the first instances that I have read about where the link between tea yeah. and Buddhist Buddhism and tea and meditation really yeah. kind of started to be cemented. Ah. And what's interesting is that this period of time and in this area around Ningbo and around Jingshan was where the Japanese monks started to come over to study Buddhism. And the Japanese monks were introduced to this tea. And this was the first tea that was brought back to Japan to start Japanese tea culture. So this has a real heritage, this tea. Um, it's, it's the first tea to be linked with Buddhism and meditation, and it seems to be one of the original teas that was brought back to Japan to um, be cultivated to start Japanese tea culture. And the way that it was served in these monasteries, probably with a lot of reverence, with some quiet, with a little bit uh, more kind of dignity than perhaps the kind of more uh, sessioning, you know, mm. drinking and tasting, but actually with a little bit more reverence to the, to the moment. Um, that way of serving was transported across to Japan and this is why the Japanese mm. tea ceremony is much more about Zen, it's much more about meditation, it's much more about 
focusing in on the cup. So this is a really, yes, this is a pioneering tea. This is a really historical tea, and yet it doesn't have the same fame as your Longjings and Dragon Wells. So we're gonna to start to drink it now, because I know it's been a while and I'm getting thirsty. Um, and then I'm gonna to talk to you about how we're going to be um, providing this tea for you guys, if you guys wanna pick it up. Should we uh, put some uh, water in here? Yeah. <sighs> Long story, but I think it was <laughs> no, worth it. That was epic, but that was needed, because you wanna know the background. What about me? Well, I'm gonna, you know. What is that? Hey, I'm <laughs> okay. not wasting water. Isn't that's that good, good that's a good thing. So we've got 80 degree water and we're going to brew this grandpa style. So this is the reason why we don't have a guru here. We're going to be drinking this one grandpa style. This is one of those teas you can do grandpa style. Obviously, I still always recommend Gong Fu style, but you know, we figured let's be a bit more efficient about it and uh, let's do our first tea um, grandpa style. It smells quite umami. It smells very umami. So yes, it has an umami note and it's interesting because then you start to think about Japanese green teas and how, how they like really push the umami yeah. to the nth degree. Yeah. Well, I mean, this definitely has umami, but it's not, it's not as strong as a Japanese green no. in terms of umami. It reminds me a little bit of a, of a green coil, a bilo chen. True. It has that similar look, very fine twisted leaves. It smells like in between um, like a green coil and a gyokuro in some way. Yeah. You know, because yeah. of that yeah. umami smell, like that yeah. savory smell. Quite sweet as well. It's, it's got a like spinachy note, it's got a, it's got a spice note to it. I think mm. it's got a slight uh, methy fenugreek, you know, that, that slight. It's there as well. It's just interesting, but mm. it's also got a True. sourness to it, a slight um, acidity, a tang to it. Okay, put a little bit in. So we're not gonna rinse this um, tea. Instead, we're gonna, 80 degree water, 175 Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. So this tea is called Jingshan Green or Temple Blossom, and it will be um, available. I'll explain that in a second. So we just poured a little bit of water to drink it. After, get our... <laughs> after having a cold shot, <laughs> it's quite hot, 80 degrees. <laughs> yeah, degree. yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's have a little sniff. Right, now I'm getting, um, you know how you have, um, when you have uh, craft beers, that, that yeasty, you know when you get beers that have that cloudiness, they've still got a bit of yeast in them, that cloudy, um, yeasty, beer smell, really nice. So that savory umami is moved into that um, uh, arena, those kinds of uh, slightly bready notes, uh, yeasty notes. But the sourness is there, definitely. I've, I've just got it all in my tongue. <laughs> I feel like got I'm breathing through it, I'm just going. Grandpa style, unlocked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So I'm, I'm getting uh, oh. some, some stone notes, yeah. um, like uh, rain notes, petrichor. For those of you who know what petrichor is, petrichor is the smell that the earth emanates when it's just about to rain. So this is an actual smell that comes from the earth when the rain is about to fall. That's a petrichor smell. And it's definitely there. Yeah, similar to a wheat beer, um, a real robot, but maybe a little darker, a little bit of a darker ale. I smell mashed potatoes. Yeah, and... it's got a starchy note to it. Definitely, definitely, definitely a starchy note to it. And you can't, you can't miss the kind yeah. of spinach yeah. soupiness of okay. it. But that's, you know, umami-ish. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That slight brothiness, but it's not as strong as a Japanese. No, 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 definitely okay, not. Let's hit it. So we're going to brew this grandpa style, which means we're going to fill it up to about here. We're going to um, enjoy slowly the infusions and when it gets to about halfway down we're just going to refill so it's not too strong unless you really want a power power hit uh, red red pill philosophy will see you tomorrow she'll be working tomorrow so you can uh, you can uh, I will be there. check and uh, after two o'clock right mm -hmm. so after 2 p.m if you come then you can uh, if you come to the tea house you can be served by <laughs> celine okay so let's take a little look at this liquor thanks shining river could you hold it's this actually 
Da, da, da. So it's starting to immediately brighten up. We're getting some lime um, colors, really nice lime zest colors. Beautiful. Um, I love the way these small twisted, okay, these small twisted leaves tend to unfurl very, very quickly. All right, guys. To every to one everyone. of you, whatever you're drinking, I hope it's good quality and uh, cheers. <laughs> cheers! Happy Saturday or happy yes. weekend. Happy weekend. Right. Oh God. What's, so young. Yeah. What are you getting? Floral. It's more floral now. Mm -hmm. Like uh, little flowers, you know, there's little. Um, I eat the leaves, by the way. Prairie flowers, prairie? Prairie flowers, like meadow flowers. Meadow flowers. Um. TKO, I know the stream seeker is the heat giver. Oh! We're, we're, we're saving <laughs> up on that one. Oh man, it always gets me like, I get so red on it. It's like, <sighs> oven baked. Mm. <laughs> Literally. Okay, so, flowers, but I'm getting a bit more tang. I'm getting blood oranges. I'm getting elderflower. Ooh, elderflower. Blood oranges. Mm. Like there's a tang to it. The the savouriness has oh, dialed down, would you not agree? It's mm -hmm. not as it's yeah. not as umami as the smell. Um, mm. it's more if if you That's would true. compare it to a vegetable, it's less spinach now. Mm-hmm. It's more gentle. No? It's more like it's soya very bean gentle. kind of edamame yes. style. Savoriness. Oh my god, like Edamame. Slightly milky savoriness to it. Very, True. very nice. True. Milky um, and. Mm. Corn. <laughs> I'm getting no, so you're corn. getting still some starchy notes. Yeah, I'm getting that as well. It's a really interesting tea, this. And I've, so I've done obviously one a long session with this tea already to really kind of get to know it. And what I, what I really feel about this tea is this is a tea which um, at first taste or at first glance seems to be like a good high quality green tea, mm. but it's not like, whoa, it doesn't have the kind of uh, the, 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 the bling looks yes. of like a monkey picked or an sure. Angie Bai chart. But sure. as you go through infusions, this really builds mm. and you start to notice fruits, you start to notice flowers, and you start to notice a real sweetness on the sides of the tongue. Yeah, true. This is a builder, this one. Totally. Totally sweet. Um, it's, that's what's interesting about it. Like, even though it's brewed for a long time in this, it doesn't really go bitter. It's quite light, a bit like Angie Baicha, where you could brew it like for a long time. You can definitely brew it. it. You know, it, it, it does have quite a strong taste, but it's, it's, it can handle it. So... It's good, man. Can I get a refill? Oh, sorry, yes. So let me, give, let me tell you how we are going to be um, um, providing this tea to you. So we are going to be doing tasters of this tea. Um, so if you want to uh, grab a taster, they'll be online, but it will probably be next week because this has literally come in yesterday. Yesterday, okay. so we weren't okay. sure if we could do this uh, session. Yeah. It literally came in yesterday, <laughs> we <were> like, <laughs> and we and we only have a small batch because it was just literally to come in to commemorate this um, these uh, monks coming and doing this mandala. Mm. Chicken little, uh, 07, You are right. Chicken little's temple blossom. Yes, mm. we are drinking temple blossom. It's yeah. a new tea. It's going to be on May leaf uh, very soon. So. How are we going to be um, uh, providing this as a commemorative package? Well, this is your first little sneak uh, peek of what's happening uh, for Christmas time. It's nice, isn't it? Mm. It starts to really build up. Mm. So your first sneak peek for Christmas time is this. This Christmas, coming soon, probably in about uh, 10 days, let's say, just for safety, but it might be end of next week. Yeah. Uh, we are going to be launching our Mayleaf flight boxes. <sighs> Finally. Okay, so the Mayleaf flight boxes basically are a flight of three teas of the same type. And we've specifically picked teas that um, are going to really kind of help to educate the palate. In other words, you're going to get the green tea flight box, where there'll be three green teas, the oolong tea flight box, three oolong teas, the white tea uh, flight box, Etc. Etc. Right, black and pua. So you've got black, a pua, a white, a green, and an oolong. And we've got three teas in there. And what we're going to do 
is we've picked those teas specifically, hopefully, for you to brew all at the same time, at least one session all at the same time, so you can taste them in a comparison with each other, in direct comparison, and there's going to be a card that comes with it that kind of explains a little bit about the differences between the teas. Okay, so that you can really educate your pal palate directly. Because a lot of times you taste a tea, you have a session, and then it might be three or four days before you taste another green tea, let's say. Mm. Um, and you've kind of, you don't have as, m as much of a direct reference point as if the tea is right in front of you. And we found this, haven't we? Mm. That when we, when we put teas together, we have a much better understanding of why so a certain process, what a certain process has done to the leaf mm -hmm. or what a certain area has brought to the leaf or what a certain cultivar has brought to the leaf. So for our green tea flight box, this is going to be one of the teas in yeah. the green tea flight box. This is going to be one of the teas. Um, the other teas is going to be Imperial Green, uh, Long Jing and Naked Spring, uh, the um, Long Ding, the Kai Hua Long Ding. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we've picked those three teas is because they're all three teas, all Very different. green, all from China, all from the same province. They're all, oh, from, yeah. they're all from Zhejiang province. And, I never so think what, about these things, but yeah, you're right. So what That's we're true. trying to do is basically say, same province, exactly the same province, exactly the same season, exactly the same year, but three very different teas mm -hmm. just by cultivar and picking and processing. And this is one of those teas. Yeah. What are you thinking of it? It's really good. Like, it makes me feel really good because I was quite tired earlier. Now I feel like I'm a bit more energized, but in a relaxed way. I can see how you could be on meditation on this. Like yeah. it kind of makes sense. Yeah. Now you're yeah. drinking it. I had this. I had a session with this yesterday when it came in, mm. and it really has a feel-good feeling. Yeah. Um, why? Um, is it called a fly box? It's not, it's called a flight box, like a flight of wines or a flight. It's a, it's a, it's a terminology used in tasting, uh, a flight of, of, of chocolate, a flight of whiskies, where you basically go through a journey, uh, tasting, doing a side-by-side, -side, I think it's called horizontal tasting. Um, so you do a side-by-side -side yeah. of the teas. That's a flight. So um, this is a flight box. I am starting to flush and so are you. Oh my God. <laughs> it's already starting. How? How is it so fun? <laughs> and we haven't even started with the stream seeker. <laughs> am I like that at work? That's why I wonder because I drink a lot of tea at work and am I? Maybe I am though. I don't know. I never know. Um, anyway. Um, where am I? What am I doing? Yeah, okay. This. Oh, Joe. Right, so, yeah, Joe. Nice one. Um, this, Hello. Is the, this is the thing. It's it's like this chat room just keeps on going, 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 and I kind of get distracted. <laughs> Anthony, my hairdresser, is in the house. <laughs> nice to see you, Anthony. Okay, so the extra bonus is this flight box, which is going to be available on pre-order after this session. I'll put it on pre-order, but it won't be. Uh, we won't be shipping it until probably Friday next week because we've got to get everything together. But this flight box will include some mandala sand. So this mm. is the sand, um, the blessed sand from the mandala uh, that you've just seen. I'll put another picture up of it so you can see it quickly one more time. Ding, ding, ding. La la. Okay, so this sand um, that you're seeing in front of you, obviously it was destroyed. So um, as soon as they'd finished or about 20 minutes after they'd finished, took them three days to build and 20 minutes after they finished, they um, destroyed it in a, in a ceremony to demonstrate the impermanence and it's all about the process um, of making and the intention rather than the possession or the object at the end. Mm. So this mandala was swept up and this sand here um, was, um, well, it's only a little bag of sand. This looks very dodgy, but okay, go, 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 go on, you can. It's sand. So uh. this sand here, I don't know Plus um, a string if you're interested. So this is oh, a... Throw this, it on my hand. This is a, um, a Buddhist monk string. Um, they will be part of the green tea uh, flight box um, to commemorate um, these monks. Okay. You can see the colours through it. It's quite pretty. And, nice. and uh, we will be donating three pounds for every sale to the monks fund Yay. so um, we can hopefully start at least to do our bit to raise a little bit of money um, for um, this hostel obviously as I said we're trying to get an online fundraising 
page up and then we can uh, we can uh, disseminate that and, and spread the spread the word about that <laughs> and if you guys want to contribute you can so the green tea flight box will be um, available on pre-order after this session and then if you pick it up um, you'll get the three teas including this exclusive tea you'll be getting the sand you'll be getting the string and uh, you will be donating well we will be donating three pounds of the sale mm. to uh, hopefully get this hostel off the ground. Okay, uh, thoughts on this tea? It's so... This warming. is one of the most feel-good teas. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah, it's this, quite amazing. It, it, it reminds, reminds me of, Yeah, go on. Angie Baicha. It reminds me of Angie Baicha, yeah. Baicha, it yeah. reminds me a little bit of Angie Baicha. Jade Sword, sorry. Jade Sword, yeah. It reminds me of that. It's, mm. It seems to be very rich in theanine. Mm. And Anthony out there sent me a really interesting article this morning. Oh, Thank you, it? Anthony. Uh, you didn't tell me? Yeah, because Anthony, he kind of uh, moonlights as a hairdresser, but actually his full-time <laughs> job is as a PhD um, whiz, um, um, studying lots and lots of uh, crazy and exciting things. And he sent me a link uh, this morning talking about how GABA, yeah. which is affected by theanine in tea, right? So theanine crosses the blood-brain barrier and mm. actually changes your, uh, affects your GABA levels. And that GABA can help to... Uh, there's new um, research being done to show that GABA can help to uh, reduce circular thoughts or intrusive thoughts. That so again, is. helping to kind of clear the mind. So, uh. I, I mean, I don't know, but there's something about this tea which mm. reminds me of Jade Sword. It's very rich in, 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 in some feel-good feeling. Yeah, 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 for um, sure. And um, I for totally sure. understand why the monks um, revere it. it so, so much. Yeah. With okay. It's like the GABA tea is actually a lot of yoga people, the people that do yoga, <laughs> like to drink it at the same time as... Yeah, uh, yeah, no, it. exactly. It's, 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 a, you, it's a real meditation drink. This is great. But have you noticed how it really builds up sweetness on the tongue? It, from the start it was already sweet, but now it's even sweeter, it really which is does. quite amazing. Like, if you guys ever try it, um, grandpa style, yeah, you'll get that sweetness mm. just on the sides there. It's really... It's really enjoyable. I like that. And the finish is kind of dry, but a little bit juicy and sweet. Yeah. It's, it's not an uncomfortable dry. It's, it's very, very fragrant. That's it's a really fragrant tea. Yeah. And 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 it doesn't demonstrate it doesn't demonstrate that from the first sip. Yeah. It's something that you need to drink, and it seems to lay down some some minerality, and it just brings a really fragrant. Very, very um, nice, bright tea. Although, when you first have it, it's like it's, it's got quite the high notes of more floral notes, which I think some people will really enjoy yeah. more than when it gets a bit stronger. I think it smells... It depends on your preference. It kind of smells vegetal. Yeah. Then moves to floral. Yeah. But the finish is more fruity sweet. Fruity sweet. It's a real yeah. nice journey, this one. Yeah. And I really like to drink it grandpa style, even yeah. if it gets you a little bit high. And um, that's why I'm kind of like stopping myself. I'm like... I know you've got a lot to drink today. No, 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 come on, come on. It's early days, early doors. I'm going to have All to right. run to the toilet in like five minutes. That's okay, you can do that. Right, I think what we should do is answer some questions very yeah, soon. Let's do but that. before we do that, I want to quickly say to anybody who's out there who's watching us live right now mm. on our website, we cannot take dollar payments because Yahoo decided overnight without giving any notice to shut down their currency conversion service which was uh, nice for me at six in the morning to get a phone call oh. um, saying that the site <laughs> is showing zero prices. Thank you to all of the people that wrote to us saying, your site is showing zero prices. And thank you for not just filling up your cart and ordering loads and loads <laughs> and loads because that would have been a bit of a stress point for us. But thank you so much for doing that. So um, if you're watching live, the dollar payments should be up again on Monday. Of course, you can pay, in, um, the, we still accept pounds and euros and PayPal will make the conversion. So it's not really an issue. But just, I wanted to say that to, to anybody in case you're wondering why the dollars are not quite working on our website right now. Right, okay. I think what we should do oh. is we should answer some questions. What Let's do you? do it. All right, so we're going to switch now. Yeah. To this one. And we're going to answer some questions. All right. I'm ready. Don, how do you tell the difference between a real or fake Chaozhou handmade clay pot? Is there a way to tell the difference, uh -huh. Jeffrey? It is. It comes uh, mostly from experience. You should see. You should see very little uh, that looks like kind of machine working. You could yeah. also almost kind of see. It's not fingerprints, but you can see. 
like irregularities, you know, you know, irregularities on yeah. there. Yeah, and it, it just it feels a little bit more um, handmade. handmade. And I don't mean like in a rough, <laughs> shoddy way. No. It just feels like every surface has been touched rather than uh, like a machine. It's, it's yeah. when you get a handmade one, you you really can see it. Yeah. Um, but it comes from experience. All right, uh, let's see. We're going to have to pause some of these questions. Um, so, um, yeah, if you've used PayPal, it shouldn't be a problem um, on the website. What about this one? Uh, when Grandpa Style used less leaf. Grandpa Style. I actually use the same amount of leaf as I do Gong Fu Style, but I will brew it for a long period of time. So, for me, I don't actually use less leaf. You can, mm -hmm. um, but I still like that hit of it. And it depends on whether or not it's a good tea, because if it's, yeah, or if it's a tea that's suited to grandpa style. I, I sometimes do a bit less, like I do less leaf, but that's just because it's, I know it's just by myself and I might not have that much of it. Yeah. So. You've got so much tea. <laughs> We're drowning in tea. <laughs> no, sometimes we run out of the stuff that we want, we have, we like. <laughs> the problem that we have, right, is that we are surrounded by samples. Yeah. And whenever we order a tea, we keep a little batch for ourselves, obviously, but it's very little. And usually we, we, we feel obliged to drink the samples. And I don't want to drink the samples sometimes. A lot of the samples we don't like sometimes, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. That's always so. the problem. <laughs> um, right. Uh, let's see. Sorry. Questions. Questions. Uh, let's see. Um, kombucha video. Do you make kombucha? Yes, we do. And we are going to be doing some videos on that. Yeah. Um, is there a way you could ship tea through FedEx or DHL instead of Royal Mail? We use UPS for the States. Um, it depends on the country. Uh, we can. If you really want us to use a different shipping method, you can write to us and we can figure out uh, a way to do it. I mean, we, we deal with FedEx, we deal with DHL all the time. So if you have a particular request, you can ask us, but we have kind of worked out which is the most cost effective one um, for um, you guys out there in terms of the, uh, the uh, shipping costs. Uh, any new Taiwanese teas on the way? Uh, do, 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 nothing no, that I can think of. We've we just, just got, got a new shipment yeah. of uh, Midnight Sun. We've got a new shipment of the Gabbers. We've got a new shipment of the um, Ruby Black. Yeah. Um, so nothing new at the moment. Oh, Frozen Summit. Frozen Summit's really good. Yeah. We've got some new Frozen Summit. Um, what's a good way to learn more about tea? I've watched nearly all of your videos on YouTube and learned so much. I'm very thankful, but I'm still hungry for more tea knowledge. As we all are, uh, <laughs> Celestia Beats, as we all are. We're all searching for knowledge and yeah. we're going we're gonna to keep um, trying to um, get and spread as much information as possible. Other than that, there are books out there you can pick up. Um, you can um, go and um, look um, online, although the information can be a bit hit and miss. Um, the best way to learn is to travel. The best way to learn is to, taste. Is to get over there and taste, yeah. yeah. Just keep tasting. And these flight boxes are kind of designed in that way, that, really yeah. trying to say, okay, you want to explore oolong teas, here are three oolong teas, here are their differences, here are, you know, That's taste cool. them together and see what you think. Yeah. Uh, new Guy Ones, Beehives, yes, New Guy Ones. The, the Blue Guy One is, the Sky Blue Guy One is um, in the country, it will be delivered to the warehouse next week. So I've put it on pre-order already. So if you look on the website, it's already on pre-order. So you can pick up a blue guy one. The white guy ones, we're still pushing hard for Christmas to get that printing right. Yeah, the sky blue guy one is available. I broke mine, so yeah, I need a new one. We need to get one, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey Don, can you make two live sessions at the beginning of the end of the month? Hey Alex, come on. <laughs> You so know, demanding. We, we, really? you know, we're doing some stuff on Instagram, so follow us on Instagram as well. Um, and uh, we'll, uh, uh, we're doing our monthly here, and you know, we'll see, we'll see. We, we, not saying no, but we'll see. Um, what tea did you drink with the monks? We drank, um, we drank so, some aged uh, Tianguan Yin. They like that. They like black tea because they're from India, so yeah. they like black tea. They were really interested in the ruby black. Yeah. Um, a little Tongmu little we tongue drank boo. with them. Um, so they did the ceremony, I think, I can't remember. It's ceremony, I think it was two different ones. Oh, I think they ones. did Golden Bud and uh, Cloud Lake. But uh, they yeah. were drinking yeah, a yeah. lot of tea. True. The monks were very happy drinking tea. Yeah. Very, very much so. Um, how was my Halloween, Raquel? Well, Raquel, my Halloween, it was wonderful. 
because it's my birthday on Halloween. So every uh, Halloween, there's always, Halloween a, there, there's always a party to go to for my birthday. I never have to organize anything. Uh, yeah. we, we had quite a nice party night. Um, so yeah, we had a lot of fun. Um, yeah. So it was, it was good. Um, it was very good. Let's see. Uh, Matthew, do you meditate? You know what? I think like most people out there, or a lot of people out there, mm. we try. Yeah. <laughs> we try. Um, and we're getting better. Mm. Um, and it takes practice and it's a very active process. And actually, coming into the new year, I'm planning to do some videos that are kind of on this subject. Mm. So hopefully you guys enjoy them. We do bumble moments. We do no. bumble moments all That's the time. That's kind of meditating. And we, we need a prescribed bumble moment at some point soon, I think. We're going to have to do that. Yeah. Thanks for the happy birthday wishes. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Yeah, you go. Uh, Miranda, <laughs> converting three of your friends into tea. Yeah. Well done. You go, Congratulations girl. to you. Uh, yeah. How do you get the most theanine from green tea? Well, I mean, you obviously need to pick a tea which is high in theanine, which usually means it's mm. either very early spring picked or it's shade grown. Um, or it comes from a cultivar which is more uh, high in theanine, like the Angie uh, cultivars, or I think this one from the feeling that I'm getting. Um, mm. And then extraction, just you know, just extracting it, you know, hot is always good. Um, to just in terms of extraction, um, this grandpa style actually makes a very powerful brew as well compared to Gong Fu brewing. Best bumbler tea. Okay, I think we should do a giveaway of this tea. Um, let's do a bumbler moment. Do you want to do a bumbler moment now? I think we'll wait. We'll do it after, we'll do it after the next tea, right? Yeah. We'll do the bumbler moment yeah. after the next tea. For those of you who don't know what bumbler moment is, you missed out <laughs> on the last episode um, where we talked about uh, my ex-girlfriend, Dia. She had this term bumbler moment where she just literally zones out. She kind of like, I, and I would see her doing it. She would just be like, <laughs> and then I'd be like, what's up? And she'd be like, don't disturb me, I'm having a bumbler moment. <laughs> and so it, it, it became this thing where like, I knew that she needed to zone out every now and again, even if it was for 10 seconds. I actually, we saw Dia yeah. and I spoke to her about it and she yeah. was laughing her head off. She was, she was amazed that there were all these hashtag bumbler um, everywhere. She was finding that very, very funny. Um, so, um, she, so shout she, out to Dia. <laughs> shout out to Dia indeed. All right, we're gonna switch back because that gets a little bit crazy. Okay, so guys, we're going to do, let's do three giveaways of sample packs of the Temple Blossom, right? Yeah. And all of these giveaways, we will give um, some mandala sand and the, um, the uh, sorry, one sec, King J.O. I received a broken fruit brew in the post today. Yes, write to us. We will get it fixed mm. up for you. No problem. No sweat. Just write to us. Send us a picture um, and we will uh, replace it for you. Sorry yeah. about that. Sorry. These postmen drive us up the wall. They like throw, throw packages around. around like crazy. Anyway, so we're going to be giving uh, three taster packs of this away. And um, everyone will also, every one of the winners will also get the mandala sand and the string. So yeah. you've basically um, had, a bit of, had a bit of main Eve history um, <laughs> coming your way. So we're going to do the same old method. Here with this strange little uh, oh, man, I was testing it out again, and it's not that great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, like, you know, I was so proud of it, <clears throat> but it's uh, no, it's not. it's uh, it, it, you'd have thought, given us a month, we could have come up with something else, but yeah, we've been quite busy, guys. So, Sorry. apologies out there, right? Let me put this down. All right, so what you need to do is you need to um. Type in Temple Blossom, there's a delay here, so when you hear this, it's probably kind of happening. Um, so type in the word Temple Blossom, and I will stop the chat room when uh, this stops spinning, which might be in one second, um, and uh, you won't see it because the chat room will, will keep going, but I will see it here, and we will, um, we will have three winners. So we'll pick three winners out there. Right, let me just go to the chat room. Okay, so spin away. Ready? Right now? Go for it, yeah. Hey! Spinning, spinning, spinning. Oh, yes. All of you are very good. Okay, we're stopping. Right. Oh. So we've got oh. Martin Hughes, Lurangi, Kelly Vinal, Marlon Arnon, and The Second Coming. Uh, that's one, two, three, four, five. And Matthew Mitchell. Matthew Mitchell. Oh my okay, goodness. so we're gonna pick one of this set. Go for it. 
Number four, Number one, four. two, three, four, Marlon Arnone. Write to us on our YouTube channel, send us a message, send it through YouTube. Please don't send it through Instagram or Facebook because we get really confused. Send it through YouTube, give us your address. We will send you some Temple Blossom and the Mandala. Let's do it again so you guys can get another chance. Yeah. Go okay. for it. Go for it. Right now? Do it. They're coming. They're coming. They're all, all there. Oh, so okay, short. here we go. So, Blue Philly, Peter van der Willek, Ido Gutterbaum, Sam Steiner, and Mark Andre von Veren. You shake it. Go on. Shake it up. And we got number four again. One, two, three, four. Sam Steiner. Sam Steiner, send us a message. Yeah. We will. Uh, yeah. That would be a good that idea, like good. last time. That would be good. Sorry, guys. Two seconds. Okay, I'll spin Sam the next Steiner, one. Sam Steiner, did you say? Sam Steiner, yeah. And who was the other one? Uh, I can't remember, but it'll come. Uh, it'll be a message. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I I'll, I can look back at the video anyway. True. Um, I just want you guys to see what you guys are doing here. So All you right, can see. Devil Blossom, Devil Blossom. Okay, go, go for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. Yeah! Oh, that's a good one. That's oh, it's a good one. We're going to be here forever. No, with that water. Boom. Ah. Okay. Woo, you guys were good. There was a flurry there. Ardalan Sami, Katrin Weinrich, Hans Channel, Guy One Geek, Ciola Blue, and Jose Gomez. Who's it gonna be? It's gonna be a number four again. Two. Number two, Katrin Weinrich. Weinrich. Can ah. you write it down? Yeah. Katrin Weinrich. Well done. You have won some Temple Blossom too and you'll get the mandala um, sand and the string as well we're gonna be Sweet. doing some more giveaways soon so don't you worry about that guys congrats guys congrats to to each and every one of you, you cheers a bit this. more of this tea cheers oh oh yeah um, that's been brewing for a while i can feel I'm my brain my tickle Tickle. <laughs> I'm getting tickle brain. You know that feeling? Like, yeah. I'm getting tickle brain. <laughs> tickle brain. Word of the day. <laughs> no, it's not word of the day. Okay. <laughs> Are you guys getting tickle brain? Okay, so, um, last thoughts on this tea before we move on? Ah. Uh, I've had a bumble moment. I don't know. I, I really like it. I really enjoy it. Have a sniff of the dry leaves since you're, uh, not the dry leaves, but the... Kind, the kind of empty cup. <sighs> yeah, I'm getting those fruits like sour orange, orange lozenges, you it's know. It's like spring after it rained. Yeah, the petrichor, but post petrichor. I get a little bit of grapefruit smell. Mm hmm. I'm munching these leaves, it's giving me a bit of a caffeine rush. Man, I've been munching these leaves the whole time you were talking. I'm feeding it to sure. Okay, sure. I'm going to put that down because the brain tickles have definitely kicked in. What was right. that? Right, <laughs> I don't know what that was. Okay, so guys, um, we are going to be moving on to our next tea. But before we do that, yeah. we need to show you something else. So I'm going to set something up here. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, this might work. It might not work. So let's see, we're going to find out very soon. <laughs> we are going to be with you in a little bit, but first I'm going to put that down because the brain tickles intermission have definitely kicked in. <laughs> right, <laughs> I don't know what that was. Okay, so guys, um, we are going to be moving on to our next team, but before we do that, yeah. we need to show you something else. So. I'm going to set something up here. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, this might work, it might not work. So let's see, we're going to find out very soon. <laughs> we are going to be with you in a little bit. But first, I'm going to put that down because the grand pickles are definitely kicked in. Right, I don't know what that was. Okay, so guys, um, we are going to be moving on to our next team. But before we do that, we need to show you something. So. Hey guys, can you hear us? <laughs> can you hear us out there? <laughs> you ready to see what just happened? That is so trippy. Here you go. This is what just happened. 
Hello. Hello. The t-shirts. The t-shirts are here. The t-shirts are here. Now I need to switch off this um, sound here because otherwise I'm going to go a bit crazy. Um, I hope that worked. That was a little bit of a last minute uh, <laughs> experience here. <laughs> That's the, the brain tickle mix. Yes. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that was, yeah, definitely. Can you hear us? Are we okay? Are we okay? Yeah. All right. So, <clears throat> t-shirts. I promised you last time we were going to take your advice. We were going to listen to what you guys wanted yeah. and we have done it. We have got two screen printed design t-shirts. Number one, the Guy One Geek in <laughs> navy blue. So those are, this is our Guy One blueprint. You can see the axis, all the little designs. Yeah. It has a little Mayleaf tea down here. So that is the, um, the Guy One Geek. And then for me, we have the tea heads. The, tea heads. the uh, deer with uh, tea leaves growing from the antlers here. Indeed. So these are our new t-shirts, they're screen printed um, and um, we love them. Yeah. Really, really happy with them, really, really comfy, really, really good quality. It's good quality. We love them very much. Recycled, like cotton. Yes, yeah, 60% so cotton, 40% polyester, all recycled. I'm really fussy with my uh, materials for t-shirts. Yeah, we like, went through quite a few. Yeah, it's really nice. I like this one. It's cool. So we've got them for men and for women in medium and large um, and they are screen printed. Um, so it's it's really nice quality. <laughs> Sorry, I like loose leaf. <laughs> Sorry, I like loose leaf. It was just a little experiment. I thought, you know, why not throw a little bit of a, make you more tea drops. Some strange things out there. Um, so yes, um, hope you like them. I, we listened to your advice and we uh, picked the designs that you liked. We were always going to go for this one, and I think you're right. This one's a really nice design. Yeah, um, guy one geek man. You gotta get it. Yeah, and you, yeah, guy one geek. On you gotta get it, guy one. <laughs> Katie, Katie, I just want to shout out to Katie. You know, Katie's been doing some videos oh, on YouTube. Yeah. You should Katie check her amazing. out. She's been doing some uh, um, videos about tea. Katie, your coffee filter method yeah. is a Mama bit is, funky. Yeah. But you know, I like I like I like the inventiveness of it. I do like the inventiveness of it. But um, we might uh, have to send you over a Phenom basket brewer so you can do it with a little bit more ease rather than that rubber band uh, business. But although very thumbs up for the thumbs up for the innovation. Yeah, I like true. it. Um, <laughs> okay, so, sorry, Fabian, for getting all bumbler over that screensaver and for getting your tea. I hope it's not too strong. Okay, so I hope you like the T-shirts. Um, they again will be um, online after this uh, May Leaf session yeah. is over, and yeah. um, hopefully you like them. Okay, so now. Second tea. Oh, third tea, because we had Wait, the matcha. We had the matcha, we had the temple blossom. Temple blossom. Oh. I'm rushing a little bit here, so this is going to be fun. This is going to uh, be very Will fun. you have any more tea sizes? Yes, I mean, we can. We can get some more. Uh, mm -hmm. So we can try and get some large. Um, I think that these are quite actually, like, I'm normally a large, and this is a medium. Yeah. So, like, actually kind of medium kind of works with large and, and large is kind of a little yeah, bit more exactly. closer to extra large. So, yeah. um, but anyway, see how you feel. Okay, um, if you really want um, some other sizes, just, just bombard us with messages um, and then I'll eventually get so tired of seeing them that I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are now bringing out the Guru. Ooh, dun, careful, dun, careful, dun. careful. We want to fill that kettle up. Oh. Okay, so we now guys, water. we uh, need your help a little bit here yeah. because for those of you who um, uh, don't know, we are, uh, everything we order in is small batch um, and so therefore we sell out of teas super quickly. I know, I know, I know, I'm sorry about that. But you know, yeah. this is the way that we work. We want to make sure we get the best teas and unfortunately a lot of times that is small batch. <clears throat> and um, we are nearly out, or we are out, of Royal Peach. I think we're nearly out. We're not quite Almost. out of Royal Peach Orchid. Bumble Moment t-shirt. Oh my god, we, we, we thought about we've that, thought about that this already. Week. Don't worry, that's <laughs> yeah. gonna come. Okay, so... We've uh, got a great image in our head. Yeah, we've, we've got, we're, we're gonna get that covered. Don't worry about that. Okay, so 
we have to taste teas and you know you're with us so, so we've got four <laughs> samples of Milan Siang Dan Song also known as Royal Peach Orchid Honey Orchid Oolong Phoenix Orchid there's yeah. a million different names of this tea so, <clears throat> um, I love and, Milan Siang uh, though yeah one of our favorite teas <laughs> Four samples, blind tasting, all numbered underneath, so we don't know which one's which. Four different suppliers, no, three different suppliers. Yeah. Um, so one supplier provided two grades. Yeah. Bags of weed. <laughs> <laughs> that would be uh, an interesting colour. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if I would trust. I don't know if I would trust that um, that seller. Not okay. very <clears throat> Okay. So. Okay. Wait. Are you doing it in order? Yeah, so why don't you heat up this tea well? Yeah, sure. Well, I need, I need to wait. Guys, I need to go to the toilet. You go to the toilet. I'm sorry. Do it, do it, do it. It's a lot of It's tea. okay. I am a camel for some reason. Like, I can just keep drinking and it's not a problem. But um, that's not the case with a lot of people. Right, so we've got four different dance songs. Um, I have no idea what to expect. Um, two of the farmers that sent to us we have purchased before so I know that their stuff is usually good um, but uh, we've got an extra sample from a new supplier so we're gonna see whether or not uh, his wares are any good I don't know which one is which um, we've just we're very careful to make sure we do this blind so all I have is a number underneath so I'm not being influenced by price. I'm not influenced, being influenced by allegiances to suppliers that I like um, and we have good relationships. I just want to make sure that I find the best tea for you. These are big samples. Yeah, I mean, they, they know them by now. If, 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 if uh, farmers send me small samples, I don't, I don't bother. If they're only going to give me one shot at it, then it's, there's no point because I really, I need to do at least two tastings, comparative tastings in order to choose the tea that I want. One of my flatmates was breaking into a cake of weed the other day, so he was like, you are awfully casual about it. Oh wait, that's tea. I'm sure that happens a lot, where people are confusing, <laughs> confusing the good stuff with the other good stuff. Okay, right, so, are we gonna measure out weight? Of course. Where's the scale? We're, we're tasting them out next to each other. Oh man, oh there it is. Okay, you got it? Got it. Okay, so for Milan Siang. So Milan Siang, you guys know, those of you who have tried it before, you know, it's one of those teas, it's all over the place. Every tea seller has a Milan Siang Dan Song or a Honey Orchid Oolong or a Phoenix Oolong. Mm -hmm. They vary wildly in quality, as with most teas. Um, the, this is all from Wudong. This is Wudong uh, tea, so it's um, around Phoenix Village. A lot of the um, tea comes from uh, lower, uh, altitude areas, uh, not so high quality, and a lot of them are younger um, tea plants, um, so tea plantations. Okay. Sorry. That's all right. I'm on it. You can start yeah. to measure. It's mad because like I'm already like got quite a tea inside me, but I just I just want to taste these so badly. Skeleton Finger is drinking Milan Siang right now. Ooh, let's drink together. So we're just basically going to show you what we do when we do a tasting session. Usually it's a little bit more, it'll be a bit more detailed, I'll be writing notes. But the great thing is it's recording now, so I can just look back at it. Yeah, six grams? Uh, yeah. Eight grams? I think that's good. That's yeah? good. Yeah, okay. Give it a sniff. Yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. what am I getting from this while you... Do more. I love doing tastings, like sampling teas next to each other. This is not as fruity as I would hope it to be, but it's got a really nice, rounded, rich, nutty aroma. It's definitely um, been roasted for a little bit longer than your standard Milan Siangs. Although, once you rehydrate and it starts to go greener, it'll start to um, probably express a little bit more mm. of its kind of. Uh, fresh green gauge notes. Interesting smell. Interesting. 
My first reaction is, it's a little bit more roasted than our normal Milan Xiang. Mm. It may be a deep roast Milan Xiang. We have done that before, royal peach orchid deep fire. True. And I know a lot of people like that. So maybe that's something that we can bring in. Oh. Although over time, the roast dies down a lot of, yeah. a lot of the time. It's just, it just locks in the flavor, but you do need to wait a little bit before. Yeah, it's probably a little bit early days. We should probably wait a month, but you know, it's, um, we're running out, so we need to get some in. Yeah. Totally, totally different. So these two are very, very similar. Um, this one, the roast is much lighter. It's got a, it's got a kind of, what's that? It's not a normal Milan Xiang smell. That's what all I'd say. It's got, it's got kind of almondy. Yeah, it's got a know? more almond milk note to it. There are some dancing that are like that. Why glass guy ones? Yes, it is a little bit cold for for guy ones, but we we don't have. We didn't want to do bowl brewing, and we don't have four of the same guy ones uh, to show you here. We do that at the warehouse. So we had to do it with the yeah. glass, and it's nice for you to see it as well. So it's a little colors, bit cold. It's nice to see the color yeah. as well. Again. Yes, yeah, true. Oh, okay. On smell, winner. Chicken dinner. Really? On Didn't smell, smell that one's something special. If you are drinking by yourself, or you're with a loved one that doesn't <sighs> mind um, you being extra close, breathe out through your nose. A little bit of warm air. Just send a little bit of warm air oh, through the leaves. That works so that well. That works super well. If you're just sniffing, it's a little bit cold, but a little bit of that humid. One. From the smell. Okay, all right. So we can't prejudge, but that one, in terms of smell, is the winner. And of course, it's the one that's the least amount. Move on to that Jade Star. Do it. Do, do it, it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Let's hit this. Let's do it. Timer. Do we have? A, should we do a timing? Yeah, I guess we should. You can do it my phone. Can I? Yeah. Okay. I think it's um <clears throat> Oh sorry. <clears throat> it's alright. Da, 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 da. Where's your timer? Da, da. It is here. Oops. That's a camera. <laughs> okay. Technology is my thing. <laughs> okay, ready? Honestly. Do it. We'll do twenty okay. seconds. Oh we're gonna we're gonna rinse first. No, let's just rinse let's first. Let's rinse first. Okay. Okay, go. Teamwork. Let's do it. You can go to the next one. Yeah. Ooh, changing, changing, changing. So never prejudge. True. That's definitely got a lot more fruit coming out now. It's happened so many times when you smell dry leaves, you're like, oh my god, this is Ooh. gonna taste so amazing. Okay. And then it just loses everything after the second infusion. Lost a lid? No, 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 the, this, this one. I know, but there's a, oh, sorry. I because I broke a lid. Just earlier. I'm very clumsy. <laughs> yeah, just literally five minutes before <laughs> yeah. five minutes before we were about to come on air, I heard a oh, crack yeah. and I was like, oh no. That's why I feel for you guys when you both like okay. broken guy ones. One. I feel for you. <clears throat> uh, I'm so clumsy. Temple goddess, I'm glad that you're enjoying your Jade Star too. I'm very, very yeah. happy about that. Um, so I good. should say, I will say, even though I promised Nola I wouldn't. What? <clears throat> we are down to our last hundred cakes of Jade Star no! 2. Yeah. <clears throat> I know, that's even surprised Aye. me. Um, so, I'm not sure it's going to last until Christmas, but we are um, down to our last hundred cakes, guys. Yeah. Somebody came in and just bought 30 cakes. Serious? Yeah. Okay, anyway, let's have a sniff. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So the best way to do this, yeah. right, let's, let's... is Bring the lid just underneath your nose, not in front of your face, just underneath your nose. Let the aroma rise. Let the aroma rise and you can get deep, long, slow breath. Oh my God. That smells like... Ooh. This is so weird, but it smells like those um, hand sanitizers. Yeah. Weirdly, hand, like, hand sanitizers. That's... I'm, Mm -hmm. That's got a funk to it. That's got a funk to it. That's got, but it's got it's a weird. weird funk to it. Never smelled sure. something like that before. Ah! This me. one has surprised me. Fruity. Fruity. 
fruity, fruity. Fruity and a little bit roasted. I quite like that. Uh, this is I the like most it. fruity. Wait a second. <clears throat> So, oh, floral and fruity. Mmm, that smells nice. So this is these two are kind of floral, fruity, a bit more roasted. This one's the most fruity. This it's one. Nice similar. Weird. <laughs> no, it's it's like um. Hand sanitizer. It's like when you're walking to, you know, when you walk into a public toilet and it's just been cleaned. Yeah. And it's got it kind of got that kind yeah. of like. Yeah. That's weird. I want, to say, I want to say those yellow ice cubes, if you know what I mean. Yellow ice cubes? You won't know because you're a woman. Okay, let's go, let's brew. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to ask more about the uh, yellow ice cubes. Okay, Ooh, sorry, go for it. So we'll do 20 second brews. Boom. And we'll see what they taste like. Okay guys, if you have a glass guy one and you do want to use um, tea that has hot, hot water, when you're pouring it, just pour it slowly so the water doesn't get caught in the lid because that's where it gets hot. Pour, pour, pour. Pour, pour, pour. Just like that. So I don't, it does, it's not hot that way. It's not hot. Oh. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> I can keep holding it. Uh, all right. I, I promise. Believe. Go on. I promise. Next. I, I'm, I really can't handle much pain. So <laughs> when it's hot, I let go. So, um, we are gonna do. Can we do a giveaway for this? We don't. We can't, can we? Because the we thing need is, this one doesn't have much. So I would say, if we did a giveaway, we could do like a flight, but like one. Oh, that's giveaway. a good idea. You guys can do the tasting. We maybe one person because we yeah. don't have much. Uh, one of you can do the. What we're doing. Doing right exactly now. what we're doing, and I'll label them one, two, three, four, and you can see what you pick up. Okay, yeah. go for it. I think that'd be cool. That that's not what you think. Cool. All right, that's a good plan. If you're up for it, we'll do it. Yeah, that yeah. would be good. <laughs> urinal cake. Mm. <laughs> it has so that yummy. weird little urinal smell. But you know, these things, you know, these kind of flavor notes or <laughs> flavor notes, I've never licked a urinal, I promise you. <laughs> I have never licked a urinal. Um, but it's, it's interesting to, okay, go to pick up these kind of subjective tasting notes of things that you've never tasted and you would never ever taste, but you've smelt or you've, uh, you know, you have some recollection of. It's kind of interesting to um, involve those in your tasting notes as well as, you know, your standard foods. True. Unfortunately, urinal, you know, yellow cube tea is not necessarily, yeah. not necessarily something you want to, uh, to be tasting. I love some of the tasting notes that you guys put out on Instagram. It's really interesting. Totally. There's some great, great tasting notes. You guys there. are really, really, really good at tasting notes. Yeah. Go for it. Um, we're constantly like amused, surprised, um, but mostly impressed yeah. when we uh, read your tasting notes on Instagram. Usually it's, uh, it's quite something. It is. Especially when they really relate to memories. I love that. I love so it when, when I feel that you guys are really tapping in to the memories. Okay, let's take a look at these colors. Oh, ready? <clears throat> We need to remember so we don't. Oops! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Already, already being up. clumsy. Okay, so. That's alright. You are loud. They all kind of look the same to me. This one's a bit darker. Let me see. Although the shape of the Gongda Bay is going to affect ah. the light refraction. I think this one's the darkest, possibly. But yeah, they're all the kind darkest. of similar. That this one's lighter. That one's the lightest. Okay. You ready? Mm, yeah. Let's do it. Alright. Hit me. T number one. Tea number one. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Tea number three for us. Cheers to Happy each and every one of you session. joining us for the session or watching on Bye. repeat. <laughs> nice. You know what? That's not bad. That's nice. Got a nice fragrance that lingers. It's not short. It lingers. That's nice. It's got a good length. Yeah. Good Very length. high notes. Honey. Not I'm much getting place. honey. I'm getting honey. I'm getting honey, getting too. honey, but it's very light honey. Yeah. Light honey. More mm. flowers. Yeah. Like um. Is the orchid there? A little bit, but I feel like there's something sweeter. Mm. It's more syrupy than honey. It's got a syrup kind of. Yeah. Like a, like a, a simple sugar, sugar syrup yes. kind of taste to it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Syrup. Good. The roast is not too strong in it, which is good. Um, mm. it's, it's, it's a nice, nice 
rendition, shall nice, we say. Nice rendition. <clears throat> Let's see what <clears throat> the yellow urinal, the urinal uh, the weirdness, ice cubes taste like. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Hey, yeah. it doesn't taste like how it smells. No, it doesn't. Thankfully, it does not taste like it smells. Yeah, very glad about that. <laughs> it's definitely got a, um, a more uh, wood, not woodsy, but a little bit more papery kind of note to it. It's yeah. got something that's a, it's a deeper note. It's not a roasted note. No. It's, it's, um, it's more of a, yeah, like a papery kind of uh, huh. Yeah, it feels like it's been sitting in a cardboard box a little yeah. bit um, too long. Um, I'm not sure if that's the case, but you know how sometimes cardboard boxes, if it's not good quality cardboard box, they're storing their tea in, you can, you can impart the... Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. No, Why? it's not beaver piss, I promise you that. <laughs> it doesn't taste it like doesn't pee. It doesn't taste like pee. But it doesn't taste particularly nice, I would say. It's not, it's not my favourite. No. I prefer the first one for sure. Yeah. Yeah. This is why it's good to do it them side by side. But because if we tasted that one just by itself, we'd be like, yes, pretty good. But with that one next to it, it's like, okay, that beats it. <laughs> okay, sorry, I didn't serve you. Mm -hmm. It's fine, I still had some left. Number three. Cheers. Ooh, mm. interesting. More almondy. Is that the one that smells like more almond? I think I don't know, but I think so. Yeah. I think so too. It definitely nice has more though. nuts. It's definitely nuttier. More nutty. Less sugar sweet yeah. compared to this. Got like a little bit of um um um. Lingering. It's got lingering sweetness on the on the top of your tongue. Mmm. Yes. Which is really nice. Yes. Yes. Nailed it. That's good. Definitely sweeter on the top of the tongue. Mm. A little bit more incense kind of note coming yes. through. A little bit more of a, uh, not burnt, but no. those spices, those fragrances, like walking into a head shop, a little hippie head shop. Yeah. We've got totally loads of spices. those in Camden. <laughs> it's got that kind of... But it's not so strong on the incense. Have a sniff of it. It's really got that kind of head shop, incense... That's really funny. ...smell it to it. But not so incense-y, yeah? I don't think like incense, you know, in intense, it's not like that. It's much more subtle than that. It's good. It's good. It's really interesting. Very interesting. Not your classic Milan Siang Dan Song, but it's interesting. Mm. Definitely intriguing and it definitely leaves sweetness on the top of your tongue. It leaves sweetness, but it doesn't coat your tongue like a syrup, like some teas will do, you know? It's actually quite fleeting in the way that it just goes straight down. You know, it's like... You're talking about the texture of the liquid. Yeah, the texture of the liquid. Yeah, it's, it's relatively you. thin. Yeah, but it lingers in terms of the fragrance. Um, so, Andrea is saying, do we clean our palates? Yes, we will have some water in between. Mm -hmm. But actually, I find that I'm getting better at being able to judge teas, even on a horizontal basis like this. Even mm -hmm. when tasting it, like, I can notice when a finish is something that's... A, uh, and when a sweetness is coming from build, between um, in between drinks or over the course of drinks and when it is specifically about that tea mm. I think anyway yeah okay number four and then we're gonna be trying to make some sort of decisions we also do a lot of blind tea, blind tasting just to be hundred percent sure so that oh chicken dinner I, winner this is when I when a tea smells super good and it tastes super good, that's when it gets me very happy. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. That but is... This is when you have to go for oh, second infusion, just whoa. to know, just to know if it lasts, you know? Oh, sniff that. Stick your nose in there. Give me a moment. <laughs> Sorry, I always rush through things. Just trying to get the taste, you know? Oh, that's really balanced. Oof. That's got a bit of everything that Oof, came through. That is just straight up Milan oh. Xiang goodness. That is oh. goodness okay. in a cup. That smell. That smell. Perfume. If someone can make the perfume for this, I'll buy it. Oh. 
So many tea perfumes should be created. Oh yeah, I would wear tea cologne. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, so I always find that the smell of the wet leaf is very revealing, but after the first infusion, it's even more revealing. And mm. right now, this is just singing. Isn't yes. it? It's just like a choir boy, it's got the sweetest voice. Yes. This is just singing to us. It's got like the sugar, sugar syrup thing, but then it coats your tongue and it just stays there and it's all over, the, it's all over your mouth. Like that's, that's delicious. I'm just going to have a bit more of this one. Just for now. Let's do second Cheers. infusions when you're ready. Get that um, kettle on the boil. Yeah, okay, so for, well, which are your favorites? Can you blind taste me? <laughs> I'm like, okay, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, yes, I can blind taste you. Drink up. Okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. No listening. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yum, yum. Number one. Ready? Mm -hmm. Tastes like almonds. Oh, God, I, I forgot which one I did. <laughs> okay, no. Okay, no, no, no. Number two. Yeah. This one has a little bit of astringency, mm. which is weird because when I was tasting all of them, they didn't have any. Okay, number three. Yep. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And number four. It's always harder when you blind taste. The last two I'm more into. Okay. I think number, f wait, how many did we do? Three, four. 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 Three was like, hmm, that was really nice. So we're comparing dance songs. So these are all four Milan Siam dance songs from this year from three different suppliers. Um, and we're trying to pick our Royal Peach Orchid for this year. Should we do a second infusion? Yeah. Do you want to uh, Which one this was up? number three and four? Three and four was this one and this one. So, so three was this one? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. You, uh, I kind need of to thought make sure that. It's hot yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mishkin. Mishkin, I've been looking for him. The thing is, around this time he goes outside and like hunts. Well, it, yeah, but it's... But because of the fireworks... Sorry, it is it's... happening. Because of the fireworks, he, he hid somewhere, so... I can't yeah, he's probably it. hiding under our bed somewhere because he yeah. hates the fireworks. Hates right, so I think what we should do is we should answer some more questions while uh, the kettle is boiling. So if you guys want to answer, <laughs> ask us any questions, then we can um, <laughs> Good we news. can go ahead. Yeah, dance on flight, this <clears> is fun. <throat> Oof, the heat, <clears throat> the heat. Ah. I'm looking a bit jittery, yeah. Well, you know, I've had two matcha shots. Yeah. And um, grandpa style green tea that is very high in, in some good stuff. Um, and um, yeah, we are, we are flying right now. Um, we, flying we have is take the off. Word. All right, so questions. Um, can leaves <laughs> infused once, then left overnight, continue infusing the next day? Yes, we've done a video on that. You can go onto YouTube and search. Um, how to keep tea in between infusions, I, I think, think something that like that. Yeah. Um, that's what you can do there. Yeah, that's true. How, which and how old is the oldest tea tree cultivated? Well, supposedly there's ones that are kind of over 2,000 years old or 1,700 mm. years old. Um, they're never really picked from. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, they, they range from, you know, 100, to up to you know 1,000, sometimes above 1,000 if you're very lucky. Mm. Um, which one? 718. Will you sell the stainless steel tea tray alone um, for the Gong Fu Guru? Once all the Gong Fu Gurus have, um, the pre-orders have been satisfied, uh, we will be offering uh, the tea tray without the tea ware. It mm. will come with the box, but I will warn you now that the majority of the price um, comes from the tea box 
um, and breaking up a set obviously costs us quite a lot of money so it's much better value for money if you buy it with the T-Wear but we will be offering it without as well but that will be only once the others have been uh, the pre-orders have been uh, satisfied um, your Jade Star 2 is much better than my other age wise good to hear it <laughs> I'm glad to hear it um, which is better tap water or filtered water well filtered tap water is what we use um, and we granderize our water which is a really funny crazy esoteric some people say mad system but from my point of view and from the taste tests that we've done it definitely works to help to soften smoothen the tea um, and uh, provide a little bit more extra thickness to the texture of the water so we filter and we granderize the water best places to travel for tea China mm. For sure. Yunnan province, go to Yunnan province or Fujian just, province. You can taste so many different varieties. You'll taste it's loads amazing. and loads, yeah, exactly. It's, it's the variety that you'll yeah. get. Japan is amazing, Taiwan's amazing, they're all mm. amazing places, but in terms of variety, I like to go to China. I think in Japan and Taiwan, it's more like they have like set rules, so it's, it's more um, regulated in the way. Yeah, yeah. Whereas in China, you'll have like a little farm over here that has some crazy stuff, you know, it's like a bit of a treasure hunt. Yeah, like. exactly. It's more, it's more of a, the, the wild west in China. Yeah. You have to go really, really search. But when you find those tea rewards, cowboys. you really find those rewards. Because they are all small batch teas. They're all yeah. kind of household produced teas versus more kind of uh, larger scale productions. Yeah. Joshua Terrazas, if you were to name a tea bitchin, what <laughs> tea would it be? Bitchin. Which is a bitchin tea? Oh, uh, I would say... What is sorry. a bitchin tea? like got character it's a bit like in your face okay. isn't it it's like psychic stream seeker psychic stream seeker seeker is pretty bitchin um, um i i would say monocle boss because it's such an interesting one i would have I said just... pip killer but oh yeah shizzles. but pip yes. killer is no longer available but pip killer for me was pip killer was, was a bitchin, crazy one for sure can i add a tea to my gfg2 pre-order you, you no i would advise you not to because the Gongfu Guru pre-order is free shipping. If you add a tea to that, then um, you will have to pay shipping on top of that and it will confuse the system. The best thing to do is to pre-order the Gongfu Guru and then do a separate order for tea. That way you're not gonna have to wait because your tea won't be delayed until the Gongfu Guru is ready for dispatch. We will send your tea immediately. It won't cost you any more because you're getting free shipping with the Gongfu Guru too if you do it on pre-order. So, Separate the order, that way you get your tea earlier. Can you see the crackles on your teacup? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I'll do it, I'll okay. do it. Here we go. Uh, let me just sip. Sip and show. Lower. I don't know if you can pick it up, but there is Whoa. a fair amount of crackle going on there. Oh <clears> my <throat> gosh. You forgot, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, extra strong brew. Um, bitching tea is Yangu Shu. Well, yeah, I think that that's pretty good. Yeah, I love that. Uh, I keep breaking my Gaiwan lids. Can you help me, Don? Well, I don't know what you want me to do. <laughs> I think that probably you're breaking them because it's too hot. Why, why are you breaking your Gaiwan lids? What's going on? You're letting What's it, it going go. <laughs> Katie, is it okay to eat brewed leaves? Depends on the leaf, really, in my mm. point of view. It needs to be first flush. It needs to be, you need to make sure that there's no pesticides used on it. Um, and um, good quality tea, yes. We've done a video on Gyokuro where I was eating the leaves um, and I, I like to eat Japanese green teas. Mm. That's flush. <clears throat> what secret rewards will there be for medals? We've got some things planned, Matthew. We are going to try stuff. I can't say for sure right now. Um, uh, pip Killer is drinking quite mellow now. I wish I had a Pip Killer to try. Oh, yeah. That would be really, really nice. It would be nice to see how it mellowed. Uh, let's see. What should I look for in a pua in terms of long-term storage? Not quite sure what you mean by that, Trilemma85. Um, are you asking how to store the pua? If you're asking that, then there's different ways. There's wet storage, there's dry storage, there's everything in between. I'm more in the realm of kind of going dry storage um, because I think that it just... Um, makes a more elegant aged tea rather than having too much of those kind of dank, damp notes to it. So, yep, I, I think that a kind of dry aged is better. Um, it's not easy to find. Uh, 
good uh, aged poor out there. Will we do a masterclass about Wu Yi Tea? I'm sure we will. When we go to Fujian province, we will do one of those. Yeah. And, uh, let's see. Will there ever be a Tiger Spirit 2? Uh, we wish. Unfortunately. We wish. I would so. love to. That was a really... That oh. and Sacred Owl, they were really chance happenings. It is uh, crazy. Uh, really, really chance happenings. Um, yeah. And um, we're still in contact with the people that produced it, but um, they're not producing anything anywhere near like that. Um, that was a real one-off. Yeah. Um, let's see, any other questions? <clears throat> Uh, how can I recognize a good Yixing pot? I've done a video on that. Check that one out. That's probably the best way to do that. Um, is tea scouting trips in China without knowing Mandarin? Is it a mission impossible or also English would work? You can usually get away with it mm. if you um, have good um, skills at kind of uh, reading people. Yeah. Bit of body language, language, a bit of communication. And if you can, then get yourself a friend or an interpreter mm. um, who is... Um, able to speak some it's, Mandarin. It's definitely easier if you have someone that can speak Mandarin. Um, since yeah. the bean hole is the least desirable part of a round shaped cake, why is there so little brick cake on the market? Is the round shape gives an all round better taste? It's a really good question actually. Mm. I think there's some tradition in the, that shape. Um, and look, the bean hole is not necessarily, you know, it's not necessarily the worst part. It's just because it's more compressed, it Hi. kind of ages a little bit slower um, and it can be harder to break. In fact, it, it usually is harder to break. So you tend to have more of the kind of tea dust. Um, if you were yeah. to brick it, it would be an even compression, but maybe it would be tighter all the way around versus a bing, which is looser in some areas. So it might kind of mm. come out in the wash, as they say. It might be a bit of six of one and half a dozen of the other there. Did that make sense? No, not really. <laughs> to some I, people, I, I felt like it probably did, but I wasn't, no, yeah. I, I didn't get it. <laughs> I mean that, you know, it kind of evens out, you know, the, uh, the even compression of a brick, but it's probably tighter compressed versus a bean, which is hopefully a little bit looser around the edges. And then it's just the bean hole, which is, which is a bit of a, a, a struggle, but you know, the bean holes are always nice to drink. It's the, the final, um, session usually yeah and you can like make it looser by just putting it in your gaiwan rinsing it in hot water leaving it in there for a bit so it kind <clears> of <throat> steams a bit and opens up you know yeah it's fine yeah, yeah, yeah. you can you i can. drink the bing hole. bing hole brandon you're sessioning jade star to 10 grams whoa 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 <laughs> i'm absolutely shit housed tea drunk wow yeah. okay um good to hear it is a power, it is a power brew. I'm indeed. sure a lot of you guys are really <clears throat> tea drunk out there. Katie, a Panera restaurant? I don't think so. I don't think we've got that. Okay, so, um, <laughs> some people are writing some funny things out there. There's nothing wrong with a bean hole. No, <laughs> a bean hole, Estelle, <laughs> is the central part of the tea cake, which is usually more compressed because it, it's the shape it's the hole where the, the paper wrapper has to be wrapped into and therefore it's tighter compressed. I'll show you. Why don't I show you? <laughs> okay. So you, show. you have an idea. Can you add weed to your tea? You're going to have to decarb that weed if you're going to do that. True. Um, this. Tea stoned. This is the. Okay, hold on. Hole. I need to focus. I need to focus, right son. There. One second, one second. Enter the bean hole. Enter the bean hole. <laughs> Enter the bean hole. Right there. Okay. That little tight nugget. That's looking a bit weird. Okay. You, you what do you mean? You're fingering the bean hole. Oh, come on. Okay, so here we go. Fingering the bean hole. Okay, that's it for questions. We're going to stop now because oh it's, my uh, gosh. I'm staring too much at the screen and not enough at you. So I apologize yeah. for that. We've looked back at videos Sorry, and go, God, I'm looking down all the time. Sorry. Yeah. I'm cool, man. Back up. We're Get talking to you. It's like when you, um, <laughs> it's like when you meet a beautiful woman and your eyes drift downwards too much. <laughs> well, it depends what's happening there. It's like focus, <laughs> son, focus. Okay, so here we go. Focus. Um, um, what did I just drink? Oh, it was the first. That was that nice. That, was, that nice. was nice. Yeah, this is when second infusion is interesting. It's good. Man, I am rushing right now. The thing with dance song, it does give you that heat, doesn't it? 
a bit like the Psychic Extreme Seek, although the Psychic Extreme Seek is next level heat, <laughs> for sure. But for winter, great. This is improved as well. Mm. Second infusions. Always go at least two or three infusions. Holy moly. Sorry, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you, Chicken Lil. Right at you. What? Look at me, I'm in the camera. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. That is right. Chew. All of them have improved. Mm -hmm. Let's hope that the last one sure. has not... Um... What are you on? Are you on the second one? I'm on this one. Oh, sweet. No, I'm, okay. I'm super speeding through them. Yeah, yeah, you are. I'm quite interested who's going to win this flight. Oh yeah, we've got to ah, do that. Okay. Definitely. Fun stuff. Mm. You know what? I'm just going to say it. There's no duds here. There's no duds. Which is great because it's actually really true. Sometimes we go through like 10 different teas, like the same, yeah. right, like same type. And it's just dud, 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 dud. <laughs> Like, really depressing. Like happened today with Tia Guan Yin. By yeah. the way, we've been drinking tea all day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we've been drinking like about, what, 10, 15 different Tia Guan Yins today, so... Yeah, but Tia Guan Yin is quite relaxing, I find. It's not like a rushy, like, yeah. dance on with Psychic Extreme, Seeker or Jade Star or Poor. <laughs> so it was a nice start to the day, I would say. Chill. Okay, so, um, do we want to make some decisions here? I don't think I've tried this one. Oh, sorry. Um, They're actually all good. They've evened out. This one is the most round everything. Like it's got a little bit of everything. These guys have a bit more punch to, like they just show you a bit more like, I'm here. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's kind of hard to choose. I think it's a process of elimination, right? Mm -hmm. Just on the basis of the weird urinal smell, <laughs> right? This is actually turned into not a bad tea, quite an interesting tea. True. But on the basis of that, mm. yeah, I think that one's out. Because I don't want our clients out there to have a whiff of it and go, ooh, you know, and be put off from the first. It's like, I was smell. drinking that. Smells like a urinal. <laughs> this one's nice, but it's got a slight mothbally note to it. That's true. I it's was got that kind that. of mothball. What's the chemical in mothballs? You say it every time and I always forget. Na naphthalene? I'm going with naphthalene, but I'm probably going to be corrected. Um, <laughs> Eric, you want the urinal tea? Well, maybe you'll win the flight. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I was going to uh, say something rude there, but I'm not going to. No, 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 no. You can't do that. <clears throat> no, 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 no. That's... Oh, man. We're going we're gonna to not... This is not going to descend into into just rowdy. I've already talked about staring at women's bosoms. It's true. Okay, so it's I apologize. We are on our it's a bit third tea after drinking about what 10 Tia Guan Yin's. What was in that? Was it this one? Ah, I'm, I'm so confused I'm now. not following yours. I'm following and I, I'm losing track of mine as well. Do you want me to do it? Um... No, I know which ones are my favorites. Oh it's these two. Oh my God. These two are my favorites. So blind tasting on these two. You okay. need the guy one lid alternative. If you had yes, I was right. Naphthalene. Ah, oh, clever. <laughs> okay, can so you blind clever. taste me on these two? All right, all right, okay. On which one? These two. Okay, close your eyesies. <laughs> close my eyesies. Okay. I have my own vocabulary. It's not the best, but I think everyone gets already. ish what I'm saying. So that's good. No Light, no very fruity, nice. Um, orchid note, mm -hmm. light honey, mm -hmm. moving to a forest honey actually, going darker, getting deeper as mm -hmm. it, as it um, settles on the tongue. It's got a nice fresh arrival and a deeper finish. Next. Wow, nice tasting notes, here you go. Closing your eyes helps, I tell you. It does, it does. Ooh, okay, stronger. A little bit more bitterness, but it's, pr it's, it's, it's controlled. Um, Little bit drier, bit more astringent. Got um, good flavor, really good flavor. But the astringency is kind of blocking me a little bit. So I would say that I prefer the first one. Which one do you think is the first one? I think that one's the first Very one. Very good. <laughs> okay, there you go. Cool. 
So I think that this is going to be our Milan Siang. Mm. Uh, we have to check the supply, we have to check the price, we have to check how much is coming in, um, how much we can get in. Um, but um, if not, this is pretty good as well. Um, we are talking about top draw teas, mm. by the way, guys. None of these are duds. Mm. Any of these would be very, very, uh, uh, would, we would be happy to show to any client, yeah. maybe apart from urinal number two. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's, um, it's definitely, they're all top draw Wudong teas. Very, very good. I think this is my favorite. Oh, the advice on the lid. Yeah, if you've got like a uh, guy one that doesn't have a lid, but you have another guy one that has a lid, just use that lid. But I think they were talking about the heat thing. What do you mean? Pour slowly. Oh, that's sorry. Because with glass guy ones, because it's glass, it, it, it releases heat quite quickly. Yeah. So if you pour very quickly and the tea uh, liquor hits your um, hits the glass beneath your finger, it can get quite hot. Yeah, as in like that little... Did People are already starting to write flight. They think that the delay is that much. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna, we can only do one of these guys because I need to do another tasting so I can't give away uh, more than that. Mm, fortunately. So, are you ready? If you write flight, since that's what, that's what seems to be what everyone's writing. Yeah. You can see how many people are writing flight here. Okay, spin it. Spin it now? Spin it. Yeah. Ah, stop. Okay, we have got Femke, Cantberry, <laughs> Sam Steiner, you already won, but you know, we, we give it. I like loose leaf, Peter van der Willek, again, and Sam Steiner, you can't get double. You are like doing some serious typing. Anna Brozina, mm. Anna Brozina, so Femke, Cantberry, Sam, I like loose leaf, Peter and Anna. Here we go. Two. Number two, Cantberry. Cantberry. Can you write that down? Yes. Huh? Where is, I can't, oh yeah, okay. Cantberry. Cantberry, um, write to us on our YouTube channel, only on our YouTube channel, send us a message. We won't respond to it for a few days because we're gonna be busy, 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 but we will get back to it and we will send you the flight label, one, two, three, four, of the Dan songs, and you Yo. can do your own comparative tasting. It's Believe really me, fun. It's so okay. much fun to taste teas in this way. I highly recommend it to you guys. And that's why we really want to bring out these flight boxes because we really want to help people to experience the, the, the differences, to, mm. to really appreciate the differences in the flavors. Yeah. I that's think amazing. we need a bumbler break. Oh. Okay, so we're going to do a 10 second bumbler break. I need it. I've spoken too much. <clears throat> you ready, guys? 10 minutes, did I say? No, what? 10 seconds. That's, that's <laughs> 10 seconds bumbler. of bumbler, ready? See how bumbler you can get. Bumbler basically means relinquish all thoughts. Nothing is happening in your head. It's just simply staring into the distance. Okay. That was so easy for me. Like, that was so easy. You, <laughs> you were drifting. You were falling um, into the bumbler being old. Okay. Sure. Are we ready? For what? To move on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Or do you want to drink some more of this? Mm, hmm. Can we just drink this one? Yeah, okay. Just to see the third infusion. Yeah, sure. Wait, what are we doing next? <laughs> next is Psychic Stream Seeker. <laughs> Holy moly! Oh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Uh, <laughs> I looked frozen in time. That's the bumbler. You need to be frozen in time. Yeah. Um, how are you guys doing out there? Let us know how you're doing. What are you drinking? You know, how are you feeling? <laughs> what time is it? Who are we? Where are we? What's going on? Let us know, you know, what your thoughts are. And yeah. again, if you're watching this on repeat, try to join in on the live session next month. But I hope that you're enjoying the repeat of this May Leaf Sessions. The fireworks have kind of stopped. Oh. Mishkin may venture from out of the bed, Mishkin. although usually he stays under there yeah. for a couple of hours just to make sure. 
Okay, guys, you can stop writing flight. <laughs> we, I'm we're, sorry. Only, we're only doing one giveaway on this one because we don't have enough yeah. tea. So we've got one giveaway, but we will be doing some giveaways of the Psychic Stream Seeker. Clouds. Okay, so Benedict yeah. is, what, is drinking uh, Tia Guan Yin and as high as a lemon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that Eric is drinking dinner. Right Pua. Uh, Anna is drinking White Peony in Sescheni. Is that in uh, Hungary? Um, moving up to Bai Ji Guan. Ooh, somebody's having some Bai Ji Guan. Marlon having Bai Ji Guan. Uh, River High, Sarah, nice, a bit of ginseng in there. Milan Xiang in the late oh. afternoon. Trevor drinking Kimen, uh, nice, get the, that Mercine in you. Uh, Wit Tea Taster about to move to Yunnan Tour 98, lovely, lovely, Love lovely. Um, I kind of wish we were doing that. Psychic yeah. Stream Seeker is kind of scaring me, it's, it's that alpaca's looking at me. Um, drinking yellow tea and asking for XXL May Leaf teas. All right, Scott, we, we heard you, we're gonna uh, see what we can do. It's just that we have to order a relatively large batch, so I'm not sure how many people out there are going to be wanting the super size. I like him baggy as well, though. It could be quite yeah, nice. Yeah, I like um, baggy too. So, some people still on Psychic Stream Seeker. Oh, Huang yeah. Pian Sheng. Okay, so you're drinking the yellow leaves. I hope that that's working for you. Phoenix Ball Black. Ho Kui in Argentina. Andres, welcome. Um, Fraxi, Fraxi, he's been setting up the uh, Reddit, subreddit, right? Oh, so if man. you guys don't know, check out the subreddit. We haven't had a chance to check it out properly yet, but there's a subreddit uh, where you can write all sorts of crazy things and uh, you can, cool. um, I don't know. Um, I'll leave it up to your imagination what you'd like to write in those uh, subreddits. That's Good for crazy, you. Man. Right, whatever. So much malt geezer, it keeps on giving, doesn't it, uh, Matthias? Yeah. Uh, some ginkgo, good for your memory, nice. Max Amsax, Sip Spring, nice. And uh, Rebecca, you've moved from Psychic Stream Seeker to Jade Star 2. You got some, <gasps> you guys are we hard have some cool. hardcore drinkers out there. I like there. it. Okay, so. I like it a lot. Here we go. Yep, yeah, the subreddit's there if you want to find it. Um, so go check it out. Right, I'm going to move away from this because this is probably quite distracting. Let's drink some Psychic. Shall I move these out of the way? Um, yeah, I'm going to finish off this one. La, la, mm. la, 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 la. Really, really nice. It's got um, a slight creaminess coming through as well. Ah, oh, man. Mm. Guys, mm. this is so nice. It's, I really love having sessions with you. It's really cool. Yeah, the only problem, the only problem with these sessions is what? that we finish at like, I don't know, 10, 30, 11. <laughs> and, we're and then we're like so wired. We're like super wired. Do you guys get like that? Let's know. I'm, I'm intrigued. How many of you are as wired as we are <clears throat> in, in bed or whilst you're working? You know, because I know some of you guys wake up really early for this. Thank you. Yeah, for those of you who got up early for the wake and bake, <laughs> we can be. Well done. Kudos to you Man, for getting up early. Flying. You're going to have a great day, yeah. I am sure. Um, Boris from Belgium. Jose from Mexico. Jody no. drinking Jade Star 2. Um, Max Amsax is wired. So are we. <laughs> but you know, we're going to now settle down, chill out, relax with Ride some psychic stream seeker. Ride the wave. Ride the That's wave. all you need to do. Ride the Gucci wave. Yeah. And Ooh, then you'll do you remember good. that picture you did? Which one? Where the guy won with the little surfer on it. Oh, yeah! You might have seen it on Instagram. If you haven't, you can find it on Instagram. That was... Edo, you have school tomorrow and it's midnight. Oh, man. Another half an hour. Another half an hour, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Pleased to say I've loved all of your teas that I've tried so far. Thank you, Trevor. I'm glad to hear it. Right, so we are going to be drinking some Psychic Stream Seeker, the Heat Giver, the Alpaca. Oh, King Plum. King Plum. Somebody's having a King Plum out yeah, there. Yeah, love that one. Love King Plum. Okay, so nice. I'll move this out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The do we have a Gong Dao Bay? Yes, we do. So this one we don't need. And let's bring out a little tea pet. Mm-hmm. This is Buffalo number two. Do you want me to hold him? I got him. Buffalo Aww, number two. Cute. This is our updated buffalo for the Gong Fu Guru 2 sneak peek. So you can see that. 
Let's see, is there anything else that I'm meant to say? Because I've written a list which I haven't followed. It's pretty much my life. I write lists and don't follow them. Um, including big checklists that I have no idea. Oh, man. They just keep on uh, filling up um, on my uh, computer. Right, let's see. That's what was so I about weird. to do? Let's see. I wanted to check whether or not I've... Oops, opened the wrong program. Whether or not I have covered everything. You probably have. I probably have. You're so probably. I've talked about um, <laughs> the T flight boxes. They're coming next week mm -hmm. or around next week. They're going to be in nice boxes, by the way, printed boxes. So it's hopefully a nice little prezi. If they um, haven't like chucked the boxes around. No, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Mm -hmm. um, then we've got uh, the blue guy ones are now available on pre order. Sky blue guy ones. We've got about 50 of those or something. So not too many, but we've got enough. And then we've got some more guy ones coming. Um, probably, hopefully before Christmas, yeah. and a small amount probably. Um, oh, something that uh, t-shirts, as you've seen. Something mm -hmm. else. Um, we are going to be launching next week. We're going to be launching the Mayleaf gift vouchers, and they're kind of interesting. They're going to be slightly different to your normal gift voucher, in the sense that you can uh, purchase uh, the gift voucher. You keep it on your account, and you can send it whenever you want and it acts as credit. So basically, wh whoever you send it to, you basically top up credit, like a pay-as-you-go kind of thing. Oh, so you top up the credit, and then they can use the credit for payment. So you don't have to use the entire voucher in one, one transaction. Instead, you can basically keep the credit and you know just slowly draw down on it as you wish. If you want to kind of use it as your own personal piggy bank, so that you've got your tea budget that you want to reserve for, the, for every month, let's say, then um, you can buy the vouchers and assign it to your own account. So you can assign it to your own account and have your own top-up credit, and then you can basically draw down on that credit. Mm -hmm. So we've got these vouchers, they're going to be launched uh, next week as well. So the gift vouchers or top-up credit, however you want to call it, we're calling it e-vouchers, maybe e-vouchers are going to be available next week. That's what super cool. How else? much this? Let's see, I think, I think that's pretty much covered it. Okay. <gasps> Oh, we've got some exciting stuff coming up. Yeah, no, you can't tell them all the things that are happening. <laughs> okay, so, uh, here we go. Buffalo giveaway. I, Klaus. All right, we'll do a buffalo giveaway. Okay, we'll do a buffalo oh, giveaway. And you missed the last giveaway. Sorry. Okay, so, let's have a sniff of this, the stream seeker. Oh, uh, yes, I preheated it. Yeah. Preheated. Didn't forget. Sometimes I forget, yes. There it is. Oh, this tea is something else. <laughs> it's got that real um, cologne, warm, hot. Sorry, I'm just reading what Christian just wrote. <laughs> it's true. I don't, we don't want to talk about the company all the time, so I do miss out on some of the stuff that Don's thinking about, like the gift vouchers and things, but... You know, it's nice, be to, it's that nice way. To, to always have surprises. <laughs> yeah, she true. always surprises me with artwork. Suddenly I'll come back home <laughs> and she'll go, check this out. I'll be like, oh, new ah, sticker. Thank you. Well, yeah. Okay, guys, stop writing Buffalo. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> stop writing Buffalo. We're going to drink this. We're going to drink this first. <laughs> okay. and, and, and then we'll tell you. And I'll give you at least a minute's warning, I promise. Okay, so you can stop writing Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do it. Okay. Somebody's got it on copy and paste and it's just paste, 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 paste. Did you say summer, uh, summer day with this one? When summer, did you say yeah, it? summer night even, summer not night. summer day, summer Ooh, night. Oh, I like that, like hot summer night. Yeah, like a hot, really hot, hot summer, summer night. night. Yeah, that's mm. nice. Oh my goodness. It's got, still got nice. that kind of um, uh, alcoholic note to it. Like bitter lemon, limoncello mm. note to it. But it's that hot night and the peanut shells and everything we talked about before. A bit of licorice, a bit of like um, caramel. It's, um, it's the really... roast is really strong in it. Very, very yeah. nice. Um, I know that some of you guys um, have tried this tea. Yeah. And, um, and uh, I know it's, it's gotten... <laughs> we really like the reactions because yeah. it's, it's caused quite a lot of shocking reactions to people. It's quite an interesting tea. I think you'll uh, agree, those of you who have tried it. 
Um, it is still strong, it's mm. still got that Lao Man uh, bitterness, but you should have tasted it raw uh, without the cooking. It was really, really hardcore. Yeah. But the heat that it gives you, the strength that it gives you is something intense, it's something special, um, and we really, really like it. And I haven't drunk it for a while. Klaus, it's yeah. a great tea. Zach, yes, this is the roasted one. Jose, this is Psychic Stream Seeker. You want to show the, the alpaca? Oh, I just put some water. It looks like he's got a little wet nose. Never mind. Here you go. He's a dribbling. He's a dribbling nose Psychic dribbling. Stream Seeker. <laughs> it's so hot, he's sweating. <laughs> That's the Psychic Stream Seeker. We still haven't worked out if it's a man or a woman, but whatever. Some people have said matter. it's transgender. Yeah, I'm, I'm let's getting... go with that. Why not? It's a transgender alpaca. Let's go with that. Yeah, gender does not matter. Oh, you hit the buffalo. Oh no! Poor buffalo. You just poured the rinse in front of its face. It's like they're going, oh. Oh no. Wait. <laughs> Don't. There you go. There we go. Ah. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Good, good, good. <laughs> okay. Okay, should we uh, actually brew some now? Let's brew some now, yeah. <laughs> so, nice hot water, guys. Um, and very short brews. Yeah. Very short brews, that's done. So for those of you who find this tea perhaps a little bit too bitter, short brews, that's okay. what we found. Really, yeah. really short brews is very important, especially if you've got something like a yishing pot, which even though it's pouring really kind of, you know, with a steady flow, it's gonna take 10 seconds or so to empty. So you wanna make sure that you start pouring very quickly. Keep the lid off to stop it from steaming. And let's dive in here and have a good taste. A good time. <laughs> Let's have a, a good, good time. A good time, a good taste. Let's have a good time with the transgender alpaca. Yeah. Color yeah. is like a rose gold liquor. A little bit greener than I remember, but it's also on these green celadon cups. In fact, uh, I might want to get, the, uh, get a, a, a large cup. Oh yeah, true. You see, when you do short infusions, it's amazing. It's actually quite fresh. It's actually still got that, that, that raw gushu taste. You're not picking up too much of the bitterness. That's yeah. lovely. Yeah, it's almost like young gushu. Like it has that very smooth, soft taste. But if you do it longer than that, then it hits you very <laughs> Yeah, intense. be very careful. This is really, really uh, fussy brewing. Like you need to you need to, you can't like keep your, take your eye off this one. Mm. Brew short infusions and then you start to kind of extend it um, yeah. past infusion three or four, but this will keep going. Cheers everyone. This is probably Cheers. the most intense session. I think we've, we've, we've outdone ourselves in For terms sure. of the, the teas that we've picked. <laughs> I might end up cleaning all night. I let you see, man, mm. that is something that happens to me sometimes. <laughs> After drinking, they're like, what quick cleaning afterwards? Like oh. yeah, when you're yeah. hyped on tea, it's probably the best cleaning sessions you can get. Otherwise, it's not fun. Celine, where can we see your art? <laughs> I keep telling her uh, she needs to sort out her <laughs> website, but she's uh, she's Even too busy. Even on Instagram, like like I get a lot of my friends like, where's your art? But I just don't I don't have time to put it up. She's working sorry. on an amazing drawing. I do really like that one. That's, uh, I'm so in love with the next poor cake. Oops. I'm so in oh. love with the next poor cake. <laughs> the, 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 the drawing that she's doing on it, I love it so much. I'm super happy with it. So I just kind of, I can't wait to share that with you guys, but it's still work yeah. in progress. Still on the drawing stage. Cheers! TKO, you brewed it for 30 seconds. Oi, oi, oi. That is going to be a heavyweight cool. tea. <laughs> TK, I love your cats by the way. Whenever I see them on your Instagram, I'm just like, I wish I could cuddle them. They're so cute. Same thing with Dashman actually. You've got such, oh, such cute such cats. Fluffy cats yeah. I really want Mishkin now. I want a hug. Mishkin. Mm. He's not Let's one talk to about this tea. Come okay. on. Mm. What are you tasting? It's fruity, mm -hmm. nutty. Mm -hmm. Very, still quite light because we're, you know, flesh brewing it, so it's got a lot of fine notes, minerality. Mm. I don't get the heat yet, which is great. It's got like more of the cooling sensations, weirdly. 
right now. Mm. I feel like once we brew it quite strong, it's gonna give us more. Yeah, let's heat. not do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's got those really nice um, fruit notes, quince, apple, um, but then the, the toasted, um, charred skins of apples, charred peanuts. Um, it's a really nice combination and definitely slight bitterness, just slight. Uh, I don't really get it yet. A little bit, just a little bit. Mm. It might be because I've been drinking, we had, I had quite a lot of tea, so, you know, I don't know. I don't really taste it right now. Mm. No, it's just starting. It'll, it'll, it'll increase in bitterness through infusion of six, seven or eight, probably when the sweetness starts to die down. But if you brew it in flash, you will get really good, good infusions out of it. Just don't over brew this tea, please. Mm. Gotta love poor tea, man. Gotta love a young um, gushu. We have got poor, we've got some amazing autumn oh poor God. samples that have just come in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Super excited about that. We were gonna do them at this show, but you know, it would be impossible. We would be man. like. Man, we'd be like. Jumping off the seat. We, we, we would not stop alive. We'd probably keep going until like four in the morning. Yeah. We wouldn't realize that. You time. would never get rid of us, guys. You wouldn't. Yeah. You would never. We've we got over 330 <laughs> people still watching us. Thank you, nice guys. One. 330 people. Cheers. All the people in the chat room. It's still going off, guys. Take a look at that. Oh, my God. We wish we could answer all your questions, honestly. Seriously. But then we'll just be staring at the screen and not in your Jeez. faces. So, but the, the, <laughs> it just keeps on going. Thank you so much. And for those of you that are involved in the forums, who, who write on subreddits, who uh, send us messages on Instagram, who tag us, who, you know, all of the, the communications, we read them all. I promise you, we read them we all. Do. We may not get to it immediately. And we a lot of the times, sometimes. and a lot of times it's us replying to you. Yeah. Most of the time, in fact. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, let's switch back to us. La, 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 okay. La. Right, let's do the buffalo giveaway. Oh, I hit it with the thingy. Okay, let's buffalo. do the buffalo giveaway. Yeah, okay, let's do it. But, you know, let's give some time to them. Yeah. Can I pee I again? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm like, I'm not a camel. You're the camel. I can't handle it. I don't it. even feel it. That's really bad. Are you serious? I don't even feel it. How? Mm. See, people want S and XS for, you know, small and extra small. We, we we try, we try. Okay, so ready? Cheers. All right, let's do one well, giveaway. Hot. What? Really? That was hot. Oh, wait, I didn't have it yet, did I? Oh, that was hot. I'm sorry. Okay. Scorched tongue. Buffaloes are coming in. No! Let's do it. Do you want some cold let's water? Let's do it, let's do what? it. Oh, wait, wait. Give me a sec. Sorry, <laughs> give me a sec. It's going buffalo crazy out there. Right, buffalo, right, buffalo, right, buffalo, right. buffalo. Ready? Oh, well, you know that song, Buffalo. If buffalo. you don't know that song, check out that song. Who is it called? Who is it by? Dub Physics. Yeah. Buffalo. It's so it's a really good one. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a good spin. It's, it's a, a good, good spin. spin. It's a good spin. And stop. stop. Okay, we've <laughs> got County. We've got Boris Ordo. We've got Evi Karam. Siotti, we've got Kelly Vinal, we've got Ethan Brinkman, and we've got Billy McCulloch. Let's do it. Why are you reading from, from the bottom up? Oh, I see. Uh, okay, ready. One buffalo is coming to. Oh, sorry. Number five. five. One, two, three, four, five. Ethan Brinkman. I'll write it down. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ethan Brinkman, you have won a buffalo. Okay. Um, now. Okay, guys, you can stop with the buffaloes now. Buffalo. Buffalo. Check out that track. If you if you like kind of dance music, that track is really cool. But it's it's a remix. I can't remember who did the remix. Yeah, it's really um, good. I'll tell you right do now. Do I want to start looking up <laughs> you remixes? You don't need to. You don't need to. I've got it on my playlist. Okay. It's right. fine. It's it's kind of a real London street. Uh, For sure. Uh, grime kind of song. It's 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 cool. Okay. okay. It is quite addictive. It is very Buffalo. addictive. I will okay. Show you that red. So, now, guys. It's called it's Buffalo, called Buffalo Charge. Charge. Okay. Dub Physics Strategy. Dub Physics Buffalo Charge. It's, it's worth checking out if you like that kind of music. You might not like you it. You might hate it. You might hate it. No problem. It's fine. Okay, so, here oh. we go. 
Here we go. Here we go. Here what we, we go, doing? Here we go. What we're gonna do now? Oh. We're gonna. You need to go. Drink some more. You yeah. need to go. Go on. I need to go. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Do we need more water? Oh yes, probably. You can get some on the way. Yeah. It's just you and me, guys. Let's do a shot. In it. It's Saturday night. In it. Proper London speak. Let's do a Machadita shot. I need that chili burn just to kind of contrast with the pua that's going on here. Hmm. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. So let's get the chat room back up. Everything's nice and clear. I'm in focus. So we've got a really big giveaway that I want to announce to everyone in the run up to Christmas. I'm going to wait for Celine to come back, but it's your opportunity to get creative, right? I really want to see what creativity is out there. I'm going to explain that in a second. That is a lovely shot. We'll put um, a recipe um, probably in the description or we'll put one online. And um, let's see what else is coming up. So we've got the flight boxes. We have, as you now know, because I've, I've done the spoiler, we've got some new pua coming which will be with us probably around, just around the end of November. Oh, she just stepped on Mishkin. Um, and so, <laughs> is, Mishkin, is Mishkin coming to join us? He looks a bit scared. Oh, Mishkin's coming to say hi, but he is a bit freaked out. Oh, he is so freaked out. It's okay. Fireworks are not fun for you, are they? Oh, Say hello to the tea heads out there, Mishkin. <sighs> Say hello. Oh, he's scared. Oh, he's oh, super scared. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. No, he's not. We're not going to force you. I'm he small. wants to hide underneath the table. Okay, so he's, he's, he's hiding next to our feet. All right, so um, drink a bit more of this, and then I want to talk about this giveaway. All right. But first of all, should we do some giveaways for this uh, Psychic Extreme Seeker? Oh, do you guys want the Psychic Extreme Seeker giveaway? I think we should do three of those. Let's do three of them. I'm really, really, I'm just going to give away. <laughs> Let's just do, oh, sorry. I just kicked Mishkin. Oh, his tail is so low, like he hates fireworks. Poor okay. One. All right, so you need to write, just write PSS, Psychic Extreme Seeker, PSS. Uh, we'll give three of these away. Um, and uh, let's do that, and then we're going to talk about the big giveaway, the big one. You ready? What are we doing? We're going to be doing PSS, giving away three tasters of Psychic Stream Seeker. Little cat Cheers. headphones, that would be cool. Sorry, I just, I just read that. Okay, PSS is coming yeah, through. Here mm. we go. Mm. Do it. No, 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 no. I'm getting good at this spinny thing. Too good. Mm-hmm. And stop. Okay, we've got Joe Ben, we've got Rachel just for fit. I swear, <laughs> Rachel, if you win it again, <laughs> we've got Jordiel Haymon, we've got Madman105, and we've got Yorgi from hey. Georgia. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, we've got Mike Nightingale as well. So, yeah. those five people, uh, six people. If it comes up number two and uh, Rachel wins, then I we don't know what see. to say. Go on. Number two, I do not believe it. I oh do not God. believe it. I swear Rachel. we are not lying. Rachel. You need to play it in the lottery. What is going on with you? You just continue to win. All right, let's do it again. All righty. Rachel, okay. we have to Should write I that down. It? I'll spin this. Rachel, my gosh. Oops. You are. That was it. it jumped. It okay. stays on the table. Okay, now we've got uh, Catherine Sm Smith. Smythe, Anthony Gave, PhD genius, Will H, Richard Salmon, Naruto Anime, and Sally Naruto Ito. Anime. One, two, three, four, one. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, let's do it. Six. Number six. So, one, two, three, four, five. Sally Ito. Sally Ito, send us a message on uh, YouTube. Sandy and we will send you some Psychic Stream Seeker. Last one, guys. Spin it. Sweet. Mm. 
There you go. We've got Miranda, we've got Mirth, we've got Andres Galeotta, we've got six times Arca, num times six, we've got Mudlo Lamb, and we've got Good News. <laughs> and the winner is Number Mudlo five. Lamb. Mudlo Lamb. Write to us on YouTube and you will get your Psychic Stream Seekers. Bear with us, it'll take a couple of, uh, usually about a week before we post it out, um, so bear with us. Okay guys, you can stop with the Psychic Stream, the PSS, still flooding over they'll probably keep flooding for about 30 seconds and now we want to talk about <laughs> our big competition oh my god you guys are gonna love this okay let's like have i'm a... jealous like i yeah anyway i'm not gonna say too much. you can say you're jealous it's all right yeah i really wanted to keep that <laughs> okay so in the run-up to christmas um, we wanted to do a big giveaway. We wanted something that is uh, going to be, you know, definitely, you know, a, a, a big one, more interesting um, than your standard tasters. Mm -hmm. um, and so, let's see, we've still got people watching. This is good. 344 of you are going to get the inside information before anyone else. Show them the pot. Oh my God. This is the prize. This is the prize for the big competition that we're going to be doing um, in the run up to Christmas. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Show them out there. Should I take off the. the... Yeah, take off the rubber band. The rubber band. Careful, don't break it. I know. Right? That would be proper. Fail. <laughs> Uh, okay, no. so here we go. This is a 50 mil, cute, 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 cute size. 50 mil. It's not focused. Okay, hold on. Hold it up a bit. There you go. 39. 50 mil, Master Wu, Chow Jo, handmade, fully handmade, Chow Jo red clay pot. Super cute. 50 mil, wow, it's so such a beautiful pot. I haven't tested it yet because I don't want to. I want to give it to you as a fresh pot, but I know for sure that it will be a perfect pour. It will be incredible. It's so cute. It's so, 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 so perfect. It's so cute. I even love the little downturned um, spout on it. Really, really nice. It's Handmade, beautiful. Master Wu. This clay pot is definitely worth well over $200. It's so beautiful. And um, instead of keeping it for ourselves, we have decided. It took us actually, let's be fair, it took us a while. It took us a long time. It took us a while to, to make this decision because we wanted it so badly for ourselves. I was like, <laughs> no, guys, please don't start writing pot. This is, the, <laughs> we're not giving, <laughs> we, are not, we are not giving away this pot right now. There's this, this, this you're going to have to be a bit creative on. Okay, yeah. So, get creative. We wanted to, uh, don't hug me, I'm scared. Don't hug if me. If you I'm haven't scared. seen Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, then that's a kind of interesting YouTube moment. Let's get creative. Let's get creative. Um, okay, so, so it's definitely worth um, more than $200. Mm. Um, it's fully handmade, Master Wu, 50 mil, Chow Jo, red clay, authentic, the real deal, made by a genuine master potter. It's, um, I love the end of the spout. It's got a beautiful little, it's got his signature little spout. This yeah. is the, the Master Wu signature. Show, yeah. show this that is spout. Why I love this guy's work. Like, he just does the best spouts. But it might be just, you know, personal preference. Can you hold it up a bit? Okay. Up. There you go. It just has this kind of slight triangulation on the spout that's amazing. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. I can't see because you're not holding it up. What do you mean? Because I, I've got this big black bar across my screen. Ah, I so do apologize. Okay. Yeah, it's focused. You can't really see it there, but when you get it, if you are lucky enough to win it, then you will see. Okay, so. It's just got like a little, almost like a little triangle at the end of the spout. All right, so here's the deal. This is how you win this uh, pot. Um, this is the way that it's gonna roll. What we have done mm. is we have got, if you go to 
You don't have to go now, you've got lots of time, yeah? If you go to psychicstreamseeker.com, psychicstreamseeker.com, then you will be led to an article on Mayleaf, um, and you have the uh, opportunity to download oh, yeah. the alpaca. Download the this artwork the for the alpaca. Okay, so you can download this shot surprise transgender, we've decided, yeah. alpaca, his without face. the background. Just his face. Just his face, <laughs> just him staring out in disbelief. And Overnight. what we would like you to do is to take that artwork and get creative with it. Do whatever you'd like. You could uh, stick it on a different background, you could make a meme, you could uh, print it out, you could do whatever you want, whatever yeah. you want. Whatever you come up with, post it on Instagram. So for those of you who are not on Instagram, you need to join Instagram. You don't worry, you don't have to be you know, out there making lots of friends and posting lots of um, pictures if you want. You can just be a voyeur. But get onto Instagram, post your picture of the alpaca. You need to follow us, mm. clearly. You need to follow <laughs> us and you need to ha okay. uh, tag us so we can find it and also hashtag StreamSeeker. All of these instructions are on the article. So if you go to psychicstreamseeker.com, you can read all the instructions, you can read how you qualify. Every picture that you put up on Instagram with the alpaca, Sorry. and it's tagged, with, tagged um, with us, counts as an entry up to 10. So after 10, we stop counting because we don't want you to just flood, 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 um, you know, your own timeline, your own uh, uh, feed with alpacas. So 10 is the maximum, so get creative. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a lot of fun, I'm sure, seeing what you guys come up with. We might even uh, regram a lot of them. We're gonna hopefully share. We want this alpaca in all of his, all of his her, she-he, in, <laughs> she she in all of uh, his, her um, glory, in all of his, her geysers, no matter where she is in the world, or he is in the world, this is going to get complicated. Yeah. The alpaca, wherever the alpaca is in the world, or whatever the alpaca is doing, or whatever the alpaca is looking at. However you want to work. Maybe you're a Photoshop whiz, and you can do some crazy stuff, but don't worry if you're not. Just print it stick out. that alpaca, print it out, put it next to your face. You know, you give don't... it to the kids, let's see what they do with it. You know, whatever. It, yeah, it doesn't, like... it, it, honestly, it doesn't have to be anything um, tea related um, at all. Can be super so trippy. It's psychicstreamseeker.com. Psychicstreamseeker.com. All in one word. You should find it. I've just checked here and it is working on my computer. So hopefully um, use they as a gender neutral pronoun. Thank ah, you. Ah, nice one. It's a, I'm not au fait with all of the politically yeah. correct things. So Me they, they, the collective. Um, so the alpaca, just get creative with it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be tea related at all. Just let's see what you come up with. Um, okay. Thank you, Frank. See, he's linked it there. So Z is a gender neutral pronoun. I need to, to swat up on all of these gender yeah, neutral pronouns. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of uh, different genders Yeah, now. and we certainly don't want to be offending anybody, mm -hmm. especially that alpaca of yours. Of course. <laughs> especially him or her. <clears throat> So we're just going to see what comes what comes our way. Um, obviously, if we, we really like a picture, then we will regram it. Um, we might use psychicstreetseeker.com as a little gallery, so we can have like a gallery. Uh, uh, we're going to see what widgets we can come up with, and you can have a gallery of alpacas, and it can be a lot of fun in the run up to Christmas. We could have a lot of fun with it, and who knows? If we see something that we really like, it might become an artwork. It might could become, become a t-shirt. It could become a sticker. We oh, don't know. Yeah. We don't know. A t-shirt um, sticker would be cool. Yeah. So you know, we we might come up with something. Obviously, we'll always ask your permission. Um, just in case you you know you want to hold on to that, that's up to you. Yeah. But you know, um, get creative. Let's see what you can come up with. So psychicstreamseeker.com. There's a button on there. You click it, and then the alpaca's face will should pop up on your browser. And then you right click that picture, download, save as, save it as um, you know a, a PNG file or a picture file. And then you can just go wild. You can do whatever you like. You can put it in front of the Taj Mahal. You can, oh, yeah. you can, you can, you can uh, print them Looking out. You can make alpaca masks. It doesn't have to be the perfect rendition. You could 
mess with it, we don't care. Yeah. As long as the alpaca is part of it, you follow us, you tag us, and you hashtag psychic, uh, you hashtag stream seeker. That's what we're gonna be looking for, hashtag stream seeker. Finally. We are gonna be announcing the winner of this on the 9th of December, just mm. before Christmas, so we can send it off to whoever's won as our Christmas gift to you. Yeah. So anywhere in the world, we know that we'll be able to get it to you before Christmas time. So 9th of December is when we finish, so you have time. You've got over a month to, uh, mm. to, to, to as, as Federico says, to free the alpaca. Yeah. Let him loose on the world. Let him, her, they, z, whatever. Let it loose on the world and uh, let's see what you come up with. It would be very, very interesting. Um, and the prize is something special. Honestly, we, we found it very difficult to give that one away, but um, we know you deserve it. So, yeah, that's the competition. You do. And um, <laughs> wrap it in bubble pl plastic like hell for the postman. <laughs> yes, don't worry. It's oh, going to go, man. it's it going to go, it's wrapped. a pot that big and it will go in a box this big, surrounded by walls of bubble wrap this wide. <laughs> Nice. We will make sure that it gets to you um, like that. Any runner-up prizes, we will think of some stuff, Elliot, I'm sure. Mm. Um, but at the moment, this is a brand new idea. We only came up with it a couple of days ago. Um, so it's a bit of a rush um, to get this on board, but we've done it. So PsychicStreamSeeker.com, we registered it. We did all of the, the work that we needed to do. Um, and as I said, um, we'll probably add to the competition. We probably will add some runner-up prizes eventually, <laughs> and we will let you know. Yeah. Okay, I am feeling whew, the oh, heat here. Me too, guys. Feeling it. It's heavy. Feeling it. It's heavy. It's so weird. It's like I'm like, my body feels like kind of lazy, weirdly, right now, but my brain is like on. It's like, ding. I could start drawing now, probably. Yeah. I'd be into that. You come up with some, some tea drunk artwork That's right the about best. now. Oh yeah. This is the time when you get the best ideas, right now. Mm. This is when all of that tea and all of that, you know, the name, inspiration starts to kind of inspiration, the visuals. crystallize into some ideas that you can yeah. have. Um, how will we be picking the winners? We will be picking the winner randomly, I think. I don't think it's fair for us to, to um, mm. pick on the basis uh, of, you know, well, what do you think? What do you mean? Obviously maybe we random. maybe we could do a voting system. Voting system? What do you That's mean? That's going to be very difficult. Listen. Yeah, I don't know. As I said, this is a brand new competition. We will probably be picking the winner randomly because yeah. I think that's the most that's fair, the fair kind of yeah. the objective way of doing it. Yeah. We're not going to start to pick favorites. But obviously, we would be really, really happy if you guys, you know, gave us your personality and your creativity instead of just kind of taking the PNG, putting it against the white background and going, there you go. Um, it would be, it, <laughs> would, you know, it, it needs to be something, it needs to be something creative um, for, for it to be an entry. But, you know, yeah. we, we, we don't raise, we don't make the bar too high. No. You know, as long as you're doing something with the alpaca, we'll be happy. Everyone's creativity is different. I mean, we'll see it, you know, it's no stress. Yeah, or as Jeremy says, maybe we'll pick like, 30 that we really like oh i get what you're saying by pick, the voting thing as then, in like we see what people do and yeah. then people vote for which Maybe. one they like we'll see what wow. widgets we can come That's up with not i will we will be updating the the area the rules um on that article um so you'll see but the rules won't change in terms of how to enter so you can start immediately mm. but how we pick the winner um it'll either be random or it'll be some sort of shortlisting before it gets to random, like we're doing here, you know, a shortlist process. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we could pick some runner-up prizes. Maybe we can pick, pick like our, you know, Celine's favorite runner-up prize and stuff Ooh, like that. Yeah, we can do that's that. That's quite fun. We can do that. Yeah. Okay. I, I will just look at the artwork. I won't look at the names <laughs> to make it fair. Oh, you brewed this one strong. I did. I felt like it. What? Nice. Sometimes, you know, just gotta give it no, a little and it, bit No, and more. it works. It really works. The roast yeah. is coming through. It's really, really nice. The bitterness mm. is there, but it's, it, it's, not, it's not too um, persistent. Nice. Something nice. Like that, loud that, bass. That, 
that uh, alcohol bitters, you know, that's what I'm tasting. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Lovely. Okay, guys, mm. so maybe we should do last set of questions before we head off. We're approaching the two and a half hour mark. Seriously. Um, yeah. This is what I mean. Like, if we did gushu tasting, I would not realize the time. Like, I didn't, this didn't feel like two and a half hours to me. <laughs> Sorry if you guys find it really long. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's mad. Mm. Oh man, you Love guys. Love this. Love this. See, people are giving loads of ideas about how we can pick a winner. We will go through yeah. uh, different ideas, don't worry. Yeah, yeah. But just get creative. I'm yeah, so man. excited to see what you guys come up with. I'm sure there's going to be some fun stuff. Cheers, you guys, for being part of this. It's so fruity. It's so cool. I know, right? Oh, did I drink this one? Oh yeah, you did. I'm like, what happened? Yeah, because you're looking at them. Like, what, what's going on? Okay, I just drank some Milan Xiang Dan. But that's fruity, but that's a different fruit. Yeah, I know. You know that I mean? was just like that was a bit confusing. It hit me with peach notes. Suddenly. Yeah, because this is more like apricot notes. Mmm, quite a nice combo. Wow, you are such an experimental. I like what you do though. Go on. Let's give it a taste. Mm -hmm. The psychic. What would this be called? The royal psychic, the royal... The sultan stream seeker. It's the royal stream, stream seeker. I can't even speak. I'm slurring. Royal oh, stream seeker. <laughs> heavy weight. Heavy weight session. Up there. Definitely this is a heavy weight session. Let's see what the sultan stream seeker tastes like. I was, I'm just enjoying the last bit of that last mouthful because it was super fruity. It tastes like I've mixed two teas Wait, together. <laughs> or did I drink what you just gave me? No, uh. I'll drink it. Katie, thank you. I'm glad you liked our video about my video about the tea story. All right, so some questions. Hmm. Well, what do you think of it? It's nice. I think it just kind of blends in too much. Where yeah. I can't really taste either one. It's like yeah, I agree. You know it, what I mean? It's not. It's not. It's Doesn't not. Really a, work. It's not a winner. No. It's okay. It's, it's, it's nice. Mix. Tastes nice. It just doesn't make you think, ooh, this is a weird mix. It doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> right. Back to the chat room. All right. Here we go. Let's do this. More combo goodness is needed. It's another rabbit hole. Definitely blending is another rabbit hole. And, you know, we are definitely, definitely working on some stuff. Experimenting is fun. Uh, drunk on tea. Indeed, Mark. Uh, okay, you need to look there so there's eye contact and I'll look at the chat right mm. now. So, eye contact. Got your eyes. Okay. Alright. Uh, <laughs> um, Freak you out in the you want a four hour session. I mean, we'd have to probably move on to herbals, I think. Um, how do you keep your sink from clogging? We use a, a tea bucket. Oh, I don't want to spill it. A tea bucket here. So this is, a, this is our tea bucket. And it has, uh, we collect all the tea leaves on here, like, uh, yeah. and then um, we put it in the bin. Mm -hmm. The heavyweight, yeah, much. we call it the heavyweight, the heavy, heavyweight uh, stream seeker. What, would, what tea would you imagine they were drinking at the tea party in the story Alice in Wonderland? Sorry, say that again. What tea? You know the, the Mad Hatter's tea oh, yeah, party? Yeah, yeah. What tea do you reckon they were drinking? Oh, that's a good question. I reckon there's a bit of ayahuasca in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I reckon... With those visuals? Yeah, I sure. reckon there's, there's, there's some, some extra ingredient. But uh, it looked like a black tea, didn't it? From my recollection of the cartoon. Maybe it was... I, okay, I'm torn between two. Yeah, I would true. say like either like a fruity lapsang because that's yeah. kind of like... Yeah. Makes you feel like, you know good inside and whatever and all the other one could be something crazy like a plum monk you know something that's like age poor makes you a bit trippy but still has just kind of fruity notes in it i don't know i yeah. feel like it might be one of those two could be what are you thinking i feel like you have an idea in your head no oh okay, never mind <laughs> <laughs> I don't, um, i'm thinking maybe a combination of ayahuasca and gleaming brow Oh, you're still keeping the ayahuasca in I'm there? definitely, they, they've got some funky stuff going gleaming on Gleaming brow, that's okay. a good one. Actually, ayahuasca and gleaming brow, you'd be flying for sure. Definitely, 
Definitely. You'd keep going with that tea. Definitely. For sure. Actually, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shrooms, ayahuasca, cannabis. Yeah. But you know, tea, as you can see, has its, has its um, boosts 100%. as well. Definitely. Anyone that says you can't get tea drunk, man, you, you don't know until you try. <laughs> Matthew, why do I have a cannabis obsession in my tasting notes? Do I have a cannabis obsession in my tasting notes? I think I've only mentioned cannabis a few times in, in my taste. It's just that there's, there's a real similarity, actually, in the terpenes, I find, yeah, that's in cannabis thing. and in, in tea. Um, yeah. And actually, historically, when you, when you uh, look back, you know, the area of Yunnan in that golden triangle area where tea was really, um, where a lot of the original tea was first cultivated. I know that Zhejiang has is, is, is historically got a lot of history in terms of tea, mm. but that golden triangle area, which is growing opium, it was growing cannabis and growing tea at the same time, you know, I think that, you know, uh, cannabis and, and tea are, are um, kind of pr crops that kind of grow in similar kind of, you know, areas mm. and um, share similar terpenes and they certainly um, get human beings to... Um, Have a different perception, possibly, yes. in a way. In a way. And, and, and use flavour and aromas and terpenes to modulate and mm. to um, make humans do their bidding. They're, bi they're bidding. Really. Yeah, because plants can't run away. Oh, they have no legs, true. right? So they either want to attract or they want to repel. Right. Right. And clearly, <laughs> clearly, tea plants are like. Can tea plants be? are like come, come taste. Um, and, <laughs> Let me show you what um, And I the can smell do. of the tea plant and the smell of the the, the mm. cannabis plant with all of its different um, cultivars and different terpenes, they're very you know, it's a it's a very interesting. Uh, very interesting uh, comparison to yeah. make. I guess it's like a lot of plants. It's like even flowers, like roses, have a detoxifying effect. They smell so good that you want it on you, that you want to smell them all the yeah. time. It makes you feel good, you know. Oh, we, we are slaves to aroma. <laughs> yeah, for sure. We are, we're like the plants, like they, they, they make us do what they want by, yeah. by releasing smell. It's anyway. amazing. Um, so let's see. David, thanks for getting me on to Gong Fu Brewing. My pleasure. Uh, skeleton finger, tea drunkenness is real. For show. For show. For show. Frank C, I'll be coming to the shop soon. Anything I should definitely get while there because it's not available online. Mm. Most of the stuff that we have there, I think everything is available online. Yeah. I don't think there's any um, specials in the shop. Um, Trying to we think, usually but... release products a bit earlier in the shop, like Psychic yeah. Stream Seeker was available in the shop earlier. The t-shirts were available last week in the shop. So, um, yeah. Uh, sometimes we have like a cake or two left, but I think we Yeah, sometimes when pizza. stuff is out of stock online, mm. we've got some obviously yeah. um, in, uh, in the tea house. But saying that, Nola's pretty good at like working out what's left, so if anyone asks her, she'll grab it for them. Yeah. Thank you, I like loose leaf. I want ideas from tea heads for the perfect tea den. Ooh, the perfect tea den. It's all about the lighting. See, oh, we're in a yes. situation where we're having bright light on yeah. us everywhere. Like we've got umbrella lights and we've got lights, you know, above us. It's Hi. not the perfect tea den. You know, yeah. it needs to be a little bit more, more toned cozy. down, a bit more cozy, a bit more relaxed. Um, but definitely, um, I like tea buckets, you know, having stuff to pour your tea away sure. without having to get up and go to the sink. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, any other questions? Any plans for Nepalese tea? Yes, I'm hoping to try to get into some Nepalese uh, oh. tea farmer circles um, yeah. next year. I'd love to go to Nepal. Yeah. Be cool. Um, let's see, any malt geezer left in the tea house? That's what I'm trying to remember, and I'm pretty sure there isn't. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. No more malt geezer. However, what? There, oh, there is man. a cooked pua tea coming. There is a cooked oh, pua yes. tea coming. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There is, and it, oh, it's good. Oh, it's really good. I didn't think you were going to say it today, but. Yeah, it's a oh. really, really good one. And um, I love malt geezer. Yeah. This one. I yeah. think you'll really like it. Really, really nice. Um, K, uh, Korean tea. Yes, that's probably maybe next year, but the, 
it might be next year. We've got a lot on our list. Mm -hmm. um, which water do we use? We use a uh, filtered, granderized tap water and it works for us. Sure. Uh, will you have a Christmas blend this year, Estelle? Yes, we, we do our, every year we do our Christmas cracker, mm -hmm. which is a mulled uh, black tea. So you can get your hands on that. Yeah. Um, okay. Good one. Whoa, Petra, some tea for pregnant. I've done a video about um, tea and pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Check that out. You can drink most teas, but you have to reduce the amount. You've got to be careful on quantity, especially regarding caffeine. Yeah. Um, so you're looking at lower caffeine drinks. Mm -hmm. Things like oolong teas tend to be better because they're lower down on the plant and um, therefore they usually have lower caffeine. Not an, not an exhaustive uh, black and white rule, but certainly something that you can um, take as a, as a general rule, mm -hmm. oolong teas, um, and um, stay away from, I think, consuming the tea leaf like matcha yeah. because it is um, a little bit um, higher in the caffeine content. Ex yeah, excessive on the caffeine. You've got to be careful yeah. on the caffeine content. But we've done a video on that and you can check that yeah. out. Um, we've done actually two. Oh no, that was one with your, with uh, yeah. Inez and Estella, his nieces. Matthew, how should I use the broken leaf for pour cakes? You know what? I what, still use them. We still use them. Or what you can do is you can give them a rinse, mm -hmm. right? Find a, a filter and then cold brew it. True. Because Good then, one. you know, it's not going to extract too much of the bitterness because of the fact that it's a broken leaf. It's, you know, on hot water, it's going to extract maybe a bit too strong, a bit less controllable. So uh, cold brewing the, the, uh, the broken leaves is a, is a nice thing to do. That's a good idea. All right. Any more questions? Tea boats. <sighs> trying. We are trying, but that's looking like it's going to be potentially yeah. difficult. We've got our own design yeah. with our own print work. Because you wanted kind of a certain size and the, as well. The, uh, the sample that sent was that was made was slightly dipping too much, mm -hmm. so like it's it. holding the water. We didn't like it, so we um, rejected that, and we are continuing to push. Continue to push. Yes, Brandon, we are still live. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> any squid fishy teas to taste? Not today. We are not choking on squid fishy teas. Uh, sorry about that. Have you tried ayahuasca, Don? No, I haven't. That's not something that has has uh, um, have I, you? <laughs> that I've sampled. Who's tried ayahuasca out there? Uh -huh. Maybe some of you have. Um, I, I just, I, I don't know about the whole, you know, the process of, you know, it's quite a purging process, mm. if you know what I mean. And I'm not quite sure I'm ready for that right now. Um, Granderized water. Check out uh, grander.com and, and, and if it sounds too weird for you, fair enough. Yeah. But honestly, for me, it's really had an effect, not just on our water, but we do, we, I put a grander system in our whole house, so we shower in granderized water. Um, a lot of people find it a little bit oddball because it's basically using the concept of non-mechanical, non-chemical uh, um, um, uh, transformation of the water through uh, the structure of water. And for those of you who start to roll their eyes as soon as you start to talk about structure and memory of water, I'm sorry guys, there is so much out there um, and, and you know, I, I'm, I'm a real believer in uh in the the power of water um and you know the stuff that luke montagne is doing the stuff mm. that jack jack Menefis used to do uh, did before he passed away um there's stuff happening in russia there's stuff happening in china there's there's some uh, incredible conferences coming up which i'm going to be a part of with luke montagne talking about um the memory of water and the structure of water and how this liquid is really quite an, an incredible miraculous liquid um, and uh, Granda, I think, has, has uh, really got something going. They've, they've managed to find a way to reset or um, defragment the hard drive of water. I know it sounds a little bit crazy, um, and I fully respect anybody who, who wants to be skeptical about it. Um, fair enough, and, and I am also kind of, you know, very um, cautious about what I say. You know that. But from the research that I've done and from all the things that I've seen, I think that there's something in it and I'm really keen to find out more. So that was my little diatribe about water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um, 
In terms of removing chemicals, you need a filter. Grand is not going to remove the chemicals, but it restructures the water. Mm -hmm. You can read more about it at Grander. You can look at their industrial, the industrial evidence that they've gathered. Um, so Mercedes-Benz used to use uh, Grander water. A lot of food companies use Grander water because it extends the shelf life of the food. Swimming pools use water, uh, Grander system to reduce the amount of chemicals they uh, use like in chlorine. the swimming pool, like chlorine. So it's really interesting because these are all industrial case studies where there's no ideology behind it. There's no kind of, uh, you know, uh, airy-fairy, we want to believe in something. This is purely hard bottom line, is it saving the company money? Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it's uh, Vienna Airport uses Grander in their uh, air conditioning system. Yeah. I could go on. It's really, really interesting if you're interested in the, the, the transformative and uh, uh, the, the ability of, for water to retain uh, memory um, and to... Anyway, you need to research it. And we'll go through some more stuff if you're interested. Mm -hmm. Um, why is the third infusion of Pua taste horrible? It shouldn't taste horrible. Uh, it should never taste... The infusions change over time, obviously, but it shouldn't taste horrible ever. You know, and if it does, then try and go to the fourth and see, see if it transforms from there. Yeah, you'll get different tasting notes, especially with Pua. It does change quite PX, a bit. there are no scientific studies. I disagree with that. So, you, you know, I, I'm a real... I'm a real um, a stickler for... for um, making sure that we have the right definitions of what science is. And if you're gonna uh, narrow your uh, um, criteria to very, very um, small parameters, then in my opinion, that's not scientific. You need to look at all the evidence, including outcome data, including lots of things. Anyway, this is getting technical and this is going, yeah, off, this is opening this is going off topic. <laughs> I know I'm Which kind of opening a whole, whole topic about it. We're not going to go talk about that now, we'll get back to the tea. Alright, so, um, any thoughts on re-roasting tea before brewing? Um, yes, I mean, we've roasted this one. I think it's a, it's a great thing to do. It's a great thing to experiment with roasting tea, for sure, definitely. Indeed. Um, okay, so, we've done lots of questions. I have spoken a lot. Okay, here we go. Do a true blind control study. Okay, I'm not going to get involved in the science, guys. I'm not going to get involved in the science. No. I'm very happy to do uh, uh, to talk about this, and we can talk about all the different uh, industrial evidence out there. But we're not going to do that now. Okay, so here we go. The last sip of the gushu. Yeah. To each and every one of you. Cheers. To every tea head out there. We salute you. Stay healthy, stay happy, stay smiling. Cheers. And this tea has got so much more to give, but I think I've reached the kind of tea limit here. So when the discussion start happening, it's like, yeah, the tea drunkenness has taken over. Yeah, exactly. Long conversation can happen. Exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for joining us. We really, really appreciate it for each and every one of you. We've yeah. still got 285 people watching. That is crazy, crazy, crazy. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. We love you all. And yeah. um, we will be back next month for another uh, May Leaf session number five. It yeah. may not be the first Sunday, uh, Saturday of the month. It might be the ninth because then we can announce the winner yeah. of the competition. So it's probably going to be the be ninth so if you want to put that in your diary. Mm. then you can certainly put that in your diary um, and um, you can um, join us hopefully and if you're watching this on repeat then try to put it in your diary now 9th of December we will return for May Leaf sessions number five and it's going to be a Christmas special it's going to be coming up to Christmas so we will make sure we've got some celebratory um, mm. we've got suitably celebratory May Leaf session for you so that's it guys thank we you hope again you enjoyed this uh, live session uh, we feel like we bring up the bar every time, so I hope that you liked it. Yeah, yeah. I hope you did too. And we've got some, uh, you know, we, we've got some plans for the next one. Let's just yeah. say that. We've got some interesting plans. We're going to try different technical things out and see whether or not they're possible. But we've got definitely some interesting 
plans for the next one. Let us know if you like seeing the comments when we do the questions and if you don't then let us know as well but we'll just keep changing it up. For sure, definitely, definitely, yeah. definitely. Just let us know what your thoughts are. Any mm -hmm. ideas, go check out that subreddit that, that uh, Frank C has, yeah. has kindly done for us. Um, awesome. Go to psychextremeseeker.com, download that alpaca and do your creative start work. getting creative. Maybe you'll win that beautiful pot. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's, it might have your name on it. <gasps> ah. All right, guys. Take care. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday or the rest of your Sunday. Yum. Sending our love from North London. Take care, guys. See ya.